Okay, five, four, three, two, one, record. All right, and we're live. Yes. How's uh, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Dungeons and Dragons. Welcome back to D and D stream. We are here. We are live. It is it is Saturday night. Hope you guys all had a a good week. We're going to be returning to where we left off uh, last week, on top of the Zaratan. Uh, but oh, yeah, yeah, that's, where we were. that's yeah, that's that's what we did. <laughs> you you ended up staying here like almost to the very end too. I I might not this week. I'm pretty tired. All my all my cords are are all tangled and stuff. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Anyway, how are you doing today, Rugi? Pretty good. Nothing. Nothing happened much this week except uh drinking alcohol for the first time in oh yeah uh, maybe february so yeah there you go your month Pretty of good. your month of sobriety is over <laughs> Ruby is back yep i'm back I'm back <laughs> baby <laughs> wonderful and drinking uh, malibu <laughs> anything else i, going I haven't on? touched my special I haven't touched my special alcohol that I ordered yet. It, it came in, uh, the, that moonshine. I'm going to save that for <laughs> a special day. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, yeah, so nothing much, just the usual work and making VTubers and other stuff. So what, uh, what Watch. kind of, what kind of occasion do you bring out moonshine for? Uh... Who knows? <laughs> when the boys are back in town. <laughs> me and the boys. Oh no, now we're gonna get muted. <laughs> me, me and the boys. <laughs> we'll see. When, when me and the boys get back together, I might I might drink it then. Even though I'm pretty sure I'm the only one who likes hard alcohol. <laughs> so it's just gonna be me drink, drinking this. <laughs> You're gonna need all all of the boys to carry you back home. Yeah, it's like um, everyone's designated driver except for one one person. <laughs> <It's me>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the other way around. So yeah, I'm excited for that. that that's gonna happen soon. Excellent. I guess yeah. yeah. Give us give us a report when that happens. <laughs> I probably won't even remember it. I might post some shit on, on Discord. Who knows what I do on Excellent. fucking alcohol. <laughs> more more stuff to pin. <laughs> Who knows? We'll see. When, when I get drunk, I, I usually hop in random Discord calls and <laughs> shit, shit. Who knows? <laughs> well, well, what happens with well, whatever happens, happens. <laughs> Excellent. In that case, how are you doing, Cryo? Ah, same old, same old. Work is work. Uh, it's been one of those instances where, like, I just hurt myself way more often. I got, like, a bunch of burns and cuts and stuff here and there. Yep, from people shoving so, your face into the deep fryer. Heck yeah. No, but just people being stupid, like, hey, yeah, we're just gonna put this wet brush away that we cleaned. And, you know, not let it dry properly. Well, what? It's not like you use it with, like, hot oil. What's that going to do? It's having, like, explode and spray everywhere. So, yeah, things like that. Uh, I had Christine's drawing class earlier. That was nice. Got to draw some doge. Some lions. Etc. Some loins. Yeah, yeah some loins. Some loins, some yippy dogs. Gato. How uh, how did you how did you like that? It's nice. It's nice to be drawing again. <laughs> how did you like being in the class? <laughs> it was <laughs> a thing. Yeah, what it kind of thing? Quite the, quite the event to see the interaction of. Uh, the next generation of people. To see the what? The next generation of no, people. No, no, the word before that. 
Yeah. <laughs> Question mark. There is there is a sneaky word there. Yeah, a word <laughs> that, that I'm by accident. That I'm gonna be getting a lot of now, oh, no. really big weird <laughs> no. question marks about. Kind of a thing. You know what? Let's move on. Sarah, how are you doing? <laughs> Pretty good. Kind of tired. My friend got married today. Oh yeah. Hey, so, congrats. I got all dressed up. Met my friends in a parking lot, and we stood eight feet apart and chatted because I haven't seen some of them in like a fucking year. And then we all went into our cars and watched him get married on our live stream. Nice. <laughs> so yeah, because there was like, oh, we're only allowed ten people in the church. So there was like eight people from the wedding party, and then the priest, and then the, the organ lady. The lady who played the organ. The organ lady. Yeah, but it was a really nice day. Like, here here where I live, it was a fucking beautiful day to be sitting out in your car. <laughs> like, couldn't have asked for nicer weather to be doing that. Except I was squinting. Like, I, I didn't realize until I got home that I was, like, squinting for, like, the entire two or three hours I was out there. And I still have, like, a headache from it. I don't know. So I'm kind of, I was, like, nervous last night. So I didn't sleep well. And now I'm all like like squint tired. You know when you ever been out on a boat and it's like really windy and then you like get home and your eyes are like like crusty and in pain from squinting against the wind? That's kind of how I felt oh, <laughs> I've been on boats, but I've never gotten that feeling. Oh. Uh, it's 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 rough because with my prescription I, I can't wear I don't have sunglasses that I can wear. So I did get to wear my big hat though. Big floppy hat. My big. It's not floppy. Not floppy. No. Oh. It's not like a big floppy. It's got like a pretty stiff brim. Oh, that okay. Hat. I see. So yeah. Everyone commented, "I wore a dress that I made myself." A homemade dress, and everyone commented on it, and I was so happy. <laughs> Yeah. It's like really selfish. I'm like, I went to my friend's wedding and everybody liked my dress. It's not. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's okay. It's nice to get compliments no matter what. So, I mean, it kind of sucks that, like, you know, we couldn't, they basically you had to wait a year for the reception. And I didn't really get to hang out with my friend who's getting married because you have to, like, limit, you kind of have to, like, limit your time around people. And then I had to limit it even more because, like, I'm pretty. There's there's only like two people in our friend group that didn't end up in the bridal party, and I'm like the girl, so of course I didn't end up in the bridal party. So all my other friends there were groomsmen, so I was kind of like standing off to the side taking photos, which I knew is what would happen anyway. But anyway, so congratulations to him. <laughs> Uh, yeah, defense school. I'm free of obligations now. Oh, there you go. Nice, excellent. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with my life. I'm gonna have to dive back and gonna... sleep together. Is what I'm gonna have to do once I get my brain rested up. Yeah, we still got a yeah, couple found, of things um, to figure out. I I found a template for plugins. Oh. Uh, and I'm I'm actually probably gonna like the things. Be okay, so one. It you know what? I'm not going to go into it. I'm not going to go into it. I have to, I have to figure out... One of the things we're having problem with is um, the variable that we want to be there to access is not there. Oh. So I have to figure out how to create that variable within the game. So uh, you mean yeah. like for the scrolling icons or what? For what, for what the problem? The scrolling icons? Yeah. For no, the... that's... That that could be one of them. Yeah, we could do okay. it that way too. I'm actually thinking of the save All right, menu. So, oh, okay, the save menu stuff. I mean, the save menu we at least have like a like a band aid solution for that's like acceptable. Yeah, the the two I I forgot about the scrolling icons actually. There, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff in the battle menu that's bugging me. So yeah, I've just gotta figure out how it's done. I just have to figure out the language, and then... I don't know, I'm gonna be asking my sister for a lot of help, because she understands this kind of stuff, and I don't. 
Yeah. Thank you. Anyway. That don't don't have any high hopes though. <laughs> it's fine. We'll we'll, we're, we'll crack away at it. We're gonna crack away at it. Between the two of us, I'm sure that we can figure it out. Right, Pharaoh, are you gonna help? No, you're just gonna sit here and cry that you're not allowed to sit on the computer chair. <laughs> anyway, Christine, yeah. how are you doing? Uh, I taught a class. Yeah. Ray Sarah gets to see how fucking awful they are. <laughs> uh, pain. Um, my dog ate a calzone yesterday. <laughs> I thought that was the other day. Yeah, no, it was the other day before that. I'm an idiot. Everything blurs together. I'm sitting in my boxers right now. That's it. Nothing else. Nothing else went on this week. Why is your no. dog eating a calzone significant? Oh, because he shat his brains out later. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, good time for a good time for a wow, Missy. Oh. <laughs> he shot his brains out. Wow! <laughs> Smoky shitting Let's rainbows. <laughs> How are you doing, Missy? Hope, uh, hope, hope you're you're ready to have a good weekend. <coughs> It's already half of the weekend is already up. Come to think of it, it's weird to think about. But yeah, uh, is that all? Yeah. In that case, let's D and D. Let me open that. There we go. Okay, and blip. There we are. Okay, so on the last session of D and D, Sarah, put yourself in the corner there. Okay. On the last session of D&D, you guys made contact with the Zartan and decided to crawl upon it. And you have you have two objectives here. Objective one is to extract the uh, the body of the Hyrax, which you believe to be up here. And objective two is to get rid of the parasitic infestation uh, up on the Zartan, so that you can uh, use the Zartan as a, a big old negotiation piece. Uh, in your in your null situation there. Yeah. Do I detect monstrosity? Yes, your monstrosity oh, radar is yeah. is just going ballistic. Yeah, we we had established last uh, last week that there's just a whole bunch of burrowing parasitic uh, bug-like creatures. All over this thing's body, and uh, and it's time it's time to to get busting, time to get bug busting. Yep. Here we fucking go. So this uh, this area on uh, its back here uh, is made up of a bunch of natural hills. The uh, the body of the the Zaratan itself. Basically, right now you guys are standing up on its back, and uh, on its on its back. Uh, you assume from where it emerged from the earth one time, you see that there are actually uh, the ruins of various crumbled structures, as well as uh, plant life all up on here. And uh, mm -hmm. in and around these structures and mounds and whatnot, uh, you can see that there are burrowing insect-like creatures of various sizes, some of them about the size of let's say, a wolf, and some of them standing about as tall as a man, and some of them even larger. Excuse me? Okay. <laughs> what is happening? What that? Anyway. So it, uh, it comes on you to, uh, to check this place out and uh, give, the, give the bugs a good, a good butt kicking. So let's uh, mm. let's get get down to that. Let me just reach over and grab my initiative tracker. Then we can roll initiative and get right into it. I guess. If nobody has any anything to say. Yeah, sure. I'm pretty tired tonight. Not gonna lie. Okay. 
You shall be quick then. I will haste you. <laughs> What's this? Third oh, uh, that's that's your initiative roll? Okay, yeah, yeah, roll it roll initiative everybody. Yeah, oh, all right. Roll was that yawn. Oh fast away. Fucking chat. Um There we go. I need to move my. Okay, so you, you and Iskra have tied. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. You can go first if you want. Uh, sure. Let's do that. Well, I can have all the options after. And Sarah? Is it rolled? Uh, oh, there it is. Yeah, oh, you have, uh, you have advantage on initiative, keep in mind. Oh, yeah. That, you have to remind me every week how my character works. Okay. I need oh, to uh, I need to remind myself to actually erase last week's initiative every time. Also, Wally, roll your portents for today. True. I just have to let the entire world know that I dressed my cat and he turned to me and. He did like a silent meow, you know, and they just look at you and open their mouth a little. Oh. Yeah. Hey. Hey, hey. Okay, so portents <laughs> 13, 17. And then on initiative, we got. I'm actually gonna go get a Pepsi. Okay. Watch him jump onto my chair. If I'm not back before my turn, just have me run straight at the nearest insect and start murdering them. <laughs> so we got Ards, Iskra, Wally, and then Yaks down at 13. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right, that's everybody on initiative. So, let me pick out a song, and then Ards, you get first turn. All right. Ardbar, Blessing, uh, Ardeus, Yax, and Iskra. Get that bless, bless on. Lip. And blip. All right, uh, and the enemies are. Uh, currently, right um, you're not you're not close enough to pinpoint. You just have a a general idea that they're kind of skittering all over the place. You notice actually that these guys can uh, can kind of burrow in and out of the mounds, leaving no trace behind. Hmm. So I can even right, kind of like time, give time a good to idea. Butter, brother. You you, you can't I'm get you, yeah. Uh, sorry, Iskra. You can't get like an idea to the like to the meter. You just know that there's a bunch of burrowing monstrosities around that resemble insects. Yeah, maybe put some bait places. All right, I'll, I'll be decoy. <laughs> if they, see if they're outw outwardly hostile, so I'm gonna butter myself up. Well, and regardless if they're point. outwardly hostile, uh, you're doing the Zaratan a favor by getting rid of them. Yep. It's good. It's good if they pop out though for everyone else. <laughs> so yeah. I'm gonna butter myself up, and the image for butter I'll use. Uh... What, what did we use last time? I wish I could import custom icons. <laughs> yeah, Butter yourself up and just throw yeah. yourself in the oven. Uh, here, I'll use that. <laughs> Perfect. It's your aura All of right, butter. So, so I'm gonna butter slide uh, over over here. Okay. Our bard's gonna run over to. Gonna dash. <laughs> Imp's gonna be riding on our bar. <laughs> That's my turn. Okay. 
All right. Um. Uh, Iskra, you're up. Okay. Yeah, I use my expeditious retreat on the moccasins for now. Zoom up. Friend can't stop posting memes even on his fucking wedding night. What? <laughs> Who? Killian. Oh. I heard my name for some reason. Oh. Yeah, I, I did too. <laughs> no, she said her friend. Yeah, friend. Okay, uh, do that. I don't see any of the bugs, right? Uh, currently no. You don't, uh, you don't, you don't see them. You're, you're just, uh, you're just aware of them. You hear them. You hear them skittering around. Hey, Yuji. How's it going? Okay, well, then... I'll just get ready some... Some shots with crossbows. When I see a bug, they... Well, I should just keep a look over this way. Okay, which way is this girl looking? That way. Okay. All right, is that it for your turn? Yeah, that's it. Okay, Wally. Um, let's see. Uh, haste on Yax. Yax is no way that's it. Wait, didn't I place myself somewhere? Before? Yeah, you're, you're you're down here. You're right here. Really? Yeah. You're right here. Bottom oh, I'm just yeah, lower, corner. I suppose. Wait a minute, is Wait, it am, I, am I blessed uh, now, or is that from last time? You, no, you're blessed right now. Uh, our, our Ardbar used his turn to bless. So you're blessed okay. and hasted. Yeah, let me just move up Very a little bit. Very strong cat. <laughs> Something weird is happening where when I scroll down... Yeah, roll 20, roll 20 does that. It's, it's kind of shitty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm, how do I, how do I, do I, mm, how do I do this? How do I, can I, mm, can I bring this up? Will I see myself? Yeah, now I see myself. Yeah, it depends on your, uh, on your zoom level. Sometimes there's certain zoom levels that actually cut off the screen because this fucking program was programmed by actual literal monkeys, so. Yeah, okay, I see. I was at 54. So yeah, cool. So I'm gonna haste Yax. And then we're going to progress a little bit. Okay. All right, Yax. I thought I wrote down what haste did. Guess I did not. It's not too complicated. You just get one bonus, um, like special action that you can use to attack or use an object, and you get double move speed and plus two AC, and advantage okay, on deck cool. saves. That's a lot for me to remember. Uh, do I see any insects? Uh, no, you don't. You don't see any currently. There's none in view. But you saw that the mountain was, uh, was teeming with them. So you're mm -hmm. you're aware of their presence, but they are burrowing insects and they're kind of coming in and out. Double moved, you say? Yeah. Can I pick up pumpkin and do that? You can. You can scoop up pumpkin. Otherwise, I just tend to, like, pumpkin just gets left behind. <laughs> should, okay. You should get, like, a baby carrier for pumpkin so she can, <laughs> she can help oh, you like, in battle. I gotta <laughs> find oh, the well, there. Probably, oh, yeah, I was gonna say, pumpkin is usually best when she's hiding in a tree. <laughs> because you can split your move in this version so I can stop and put her down. Yeah. Okay, yeah, Yax moves up. There. Uh, Yax, you actually see, uh, that right over... Don't just put it down, like, click on it and mark it so I can see it. What? Yeah, hold on. You see that right over here, there appears to be a tunnel entrance. Oh. Where's here? I put a little red line. 
Oh, there. Okay, I see it. Tunnel entrance as perhaps made by a burrowing insect? Yes. Hmm. Don't we have bear traps? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We got like three, four? We got two. I, at least I have one. I have one. On. Okay, so yeah, we have two. So I'll, I'll turn to you guys and be like, maybe we should put a bear trap there. Yeah. yeah. Sounds good to me. Um. Whatever, I got turned left, I can make a perception check. Sorry, to do what? Um, perceive things. What are you what are you looking for specifically? <laughs> More tunnel entrances. I'll I'll let you know when you get close enough to see one then. I'm just using your okay. passive perception at the moment. Um I guess we're good for now then if I don't see anything up here. Okay. Uh in that case, Logan and Olivier are gonna move up and take up the back. Um, hmm. Okay, and uh, give me give me just a sec. Got to be right back real quick and grab something. I think I put too much alcohol inside my drink. <laughs> oh no, here we go. It's hitting harder than I thought it would. <laughs> Amazing. Fuck. It's not at the point where I, I can still feel my fingers, so I'm still fine. So. <laughs> yeah, that would be a problem, wouldn't it? <laughs> that one's still good, but I, I, didn't, I didn't put that much, so I should still be fine. I think I'm just drinking it too fast. Okay, slow down. <laughs> Don't be like Wizzle is. Feed him lemons. Lums. Lum, 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 lum. Hyper speed. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. But probably mentioned before I play Legend of the Five Rings on Mondays. And I realized something really ironic last week, which is that my character is both a ninja and a cop. Ninja cop. Okay, I'm back. Ninja cop. Ninja cop? I'm like, wait. Yeah, my character in Legend of the Five Rings is ninja cop. Or more like oh. ninja FBI agent. I see. <laughs> so they're like a Shinsen Gumi. I don't know. I just thought that was funny. <clears throat> okay, so, Ardeus, uh, you are up. Alright, tumble time. I'm tumbling in there. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna slide onto this, uh, little bush. Alright, so, Ardeus, you are actually only able to fit in there at all by virtue of you being buttery. Yep. Uh, <laughs> very good. I got out looking at a butter brother. <laughs> I mean, you're just going in far enough to set a trap, right? Uh, or, or are you, well, like, diving into the hole? I'm going into the hole, baby. All right, oh, so the, the the tunnel is, is an insanely complex, ever-branching network of constantly changing tunnels based on how these things burrow. <laughs> so it would be an impossible task to map it out, let alone navigate it. However... You, uh, since you're able to see perfectly in the dark, you actually do see <laughs> a creature in there. And let me just, uh, layer that there for oh, you. Oh, shit. <laughs> so you see this inside the mound. And it, it oh. notices, uh, a disturbance in its tunnel and, uh, and turns. 
and sees this buttery boy just barreling <laughs> into his uh, his hole there. Oh boy. Barreling into boy barreling into his hole. <laughs> we'll send that one to Chuck Tingle. Yeah, well. Oh. So yeah, you uh, you right. come face to face with with this thing. <laughs> Okay, okay. Was that- uh, that was just your move, yeah? Yeah, that was my move. Um... I think I'm gonna try to, uh... Black them straight, straight away. Oh, you're just gonna go for the Eldritch Blast? Yeah, I'm just going for the Eldritch Blast. Okay. Does it? Yeah, just going for the Blast. Does it propel you backwards, then? What? Does he get propelled backwards because he's no. slippery? Just... It's not a gun, it's a spell. It doesn't have a recoil. Ooh, oh, fuck. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta do, do what's it called? Gun for with Butter Brother and a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, blasted him straight away. Okay. Oh, oh nice. Alright, so that's a crit and a miss. Sorry, a crit and a hit. Sorry, I just saw the 12 and... Hold up, I'm not trying to get in my room. Uh... So how how far into the tunnel did you go exactly? Uh, just the entrance. Just okay. Sticking, my legs are still basically sticking out. That's the how far my movement would bring me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so uh, let's see. So hold up, I gotta check the damage of. Eldritch Blast. Uh, on. that'll be three d ten, if you're just Eldritch blasting him. Yeah. Uh, plus three. your, yeah, plus your charisma twice, so that'll be 3d10 plus 6. Hey, there we go. Alright, so you blast him in the dark for 18 damage. And, uh, Ardbard's gonna dash to behind my legs. <laughs> Wait, he's gonna do what? He's gonna dash to, to where my legs oh, okay. are sticking out. And, uh, I'll have my turn here. Okay. Uh, Iskra, you're up. Okie dokie. I don't think I can really get in there, nor do I want to get close to Butterdeus. <laughs> I'm gonna zoom up to just in front of the axe first. What else? Oh. oh, right. So I, I have uh, height markers on things, by the way. These uh, smaller hills, these are 30 feet up. The trees are 45 feet tall. And then the larger hill is uh, another 60 feet above the, uh, the small hill. Okie dokie. <clears throat> You're gonna want to speak up, by the way, Cryo. I'm just mumbling to myself, don't worry. I'll do that. Alright. And I move her up to here. Okay. Moving through the little do chasm. Uh, you do don't I see any- it? I'll- I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Okay. Just- same end action, shoot whatever comes at me. Okay. So just facing through with your crossbow at the ready. Yeah. Okay, and Loishka? Uh, Loishka will be facing towards... Yeah, towards Iskra. Okay. Same thing. Okay. In that case, uh, moving on to Wally. I okay. So we see we see the first thing here. So I guess we'll. That's uh that's within the tunnel. Only Ardeus sees that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you only got to see my feet. <laughs> yeah, Ardeus just just saw a tiny hole in the mountain, and he was like, "That hole was made for me." And he just fucking took off and jumped into it, and and now you just see his legs dangling out of the hole. This hole, it was made for me. Yep. <laughs> 
Okay, excellent. So we're gonna hold action. Um, hold. Probably do. Oh, we lost Cryo. The usual what? wombo combo. Um, you lost me? Yeah, you're not in roll 20 anymore. Oh, yeah. Huh. So I'm probably gonna do the usual of, of what Ray the fuck of, do I do with Ray Walter? of Frost? Yeah, Ray of Frost and Toll the Dead. Okay, so, which direction are you looking in? Um, we're Okay, so this part seems to be covered, so we're gonna be looking around this general area. Okay. Okay, and uh, Logan and Olivier continue moving up with you guys. Actually, wait. A few things need to happen first. First, uh, Ardeus, you see this thing starting to approach you. Oh, shit. <laughs> and uh, it, it's going to try to grab you and pull you into the tunnel. <laughs> so, uh, your brother Butter is going to give you advantage on this, I believe. Yeah. So make me uh, an athletics check with, or an athletics or acrobatics check with adva uh, with advantage. With, I'll go with acrobatics. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so this this thing tries to tries to grab you and pull you into the um into the tunnel. And finds that you are too buttery for it to get a, <laughs> uh, a handle on with its pinchers. And it sits here just frustrated at you, making giant beetle sounds. <laughs> um, so, from from this thing, you, uh, you get uh, a, a particular scent. It smells a lot like old rusted metal. Does it look metallic in any way, or...? Does it just look like a big bug? Uh, it just looks like a big bug, but it's it's giving off like a like a like the the super distinct smell of uh, of rust. Oh, all right. Okay, so that's that's it for that thing. Uh, Yax, you're up. Um, well, I don't know that he's facing that in there. Um, I think with double move, hang on, so it was like 15 feet to here, plus it would take 20, another 40 feet for me to get up there. Oh, uh, you have a you have a built-in climb speed, so. Yeah, well, it's only twenty feet, though. Yeah, right? it uh, it doubles with oh. the haste. Does it? I'm oh. yeah. I'm pretty sure haste doubles all your movement, not just your walk speed. All right. Well, I'm I'm gonna go here then. See what's in here. Okay. Pumpkin's gonna... So as soon as you as soon as you peer over the edge, you actually notice uh, a few creatures. Oh, so I should be like over here. Yeah, let me just reveal them for you. Excuse me, I have to zoom in. <laughs> zoom way the fuck in. Take those. So beetles about the size of wolves are here eating uh, a bunch of scrap. Like scrap. Me What's my halberd made out of? Uh, your halberd is made out of like dragon bones and claws. Mm -hmm. And adamantium is a metal, right? Yes, adamantium is a metal. However, adamantium is indestructible. Oh, okay. I don't think I have any. Because I kind of think I know what's going on. Yeah, here. I don't think Yax has anything mean. edible. I think everything that Yax has is either made of like crazy future technology or magic. So. Okay. Um. Why did I move pumpkin? I shouldn't have moved pumpkin. I should have just had her climb that tree so she could see what's going on here. 
Do you want to, like, take that back and just make her climb the tree? Yes. To have her climb 20 feet up that tree. Uh, I think she has a climb of 25. She walks at a uh, dwarf I slash halfling. Oh. I thought she had four walk. I wrote six walk, six climb. I thought it was four walk. Oh, I thought it was five. I thought she had 25 feet, 25 feet. Hold on, let me check. Oh, okay. Let's do it that way then. Because that's what dwarves move. You just have the climb speed as well. Yeah. Pumpkin. Uh, oh no, I've got Pumpkin at 30-30. I guess she fast. Oh. Okay. She's squirt, speedy. Not squirrel. <laughs> fat squirrel. Big fat overfed <laughs> squirrel. Okay, well she can climb 30 feet up this tree then, so at least yep. she's like level and can see. Um, get fucked, we're here to kill these things, right? Yep. Alright. Oh, I should rage. Or... Yes, I should rage. So Yax, Yax gets over the cliff and goes, Is that bugs? I hate bugs! Rawr! Yep. <laughs> Alright, so what are you attacking with? That's your halberd, halberd. yeah? Alright, so you bring yeah. your halberd down on this creature's carapace. Roll your damage. I have to, like, go back to my character sheet every time, because, yeah. Should be, um, d10 plus yeah. strength plus, plus rage plus one. Oh my god. Okay, d10 plus seven. Plus one. Okay, plus eight. Uh, your strength is four, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, so it should be plus seven. Because two from the rage and then one from magic. What? No, it's one from magic. Hang on, I have it as regularly. It's oh, plus five. Why did I think? I'm so used to hitting in rage that it's overruled. Anyway, so we'll just we'll just make it eight then. Like whatever. yeah, yeah, okay. So you bring it down. You have your your second and third attack from haste. Oh yeah. Alright, you smack him again. For 16. Nice. Is it still alive? Uh, yes, but barely. Basically, you smash it twice and its carapace splits open. And it's sitting there kind of kind of twitching. <laughs> and uh, roll me another d20. Alright, the last, the last one uh, doesn't hit. The last one hits right beside it, so you just, you jump up and you smash this thing twice, splitting its carapace open, leaving it a, a twitching bloody mess, and the other two look over at you and, and make scree noises. Uh, I'd intimidate to scare them, but we're just gonna fucking kill them all. Yeah. I mean, you uh, can scare fine. them and kill them. Yep. <laughs> uh, so these things are like bugs? Uh, yes, they are insectoid. Pumpkin's just gonna cast Create Bonfire, like, right here. Okay, um... That only hits a, uh, a five foot. Most cantrips do. I just feel like yeah. using it Yeah, so I think late. you can only, um, hit one of them. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, which one do you want to hit, left or right? Left! Okay, uh, so it needs to oh, make a dex save. Damage bonus now, too. Oh, it, it crits on the deck save. Oh, good. Okay. However, that bonfire no. is is just sitting there now. Oh, it's only gonna be there for one turn. <laughs> uh, you can concentrate on it. You can make it last up to a minute. Yeah, but the whole point is to cast it and make things deck save over and over again. It it'll well yeah it'll it'll do that if it stays there. But yeah, she could just do it over and over. 
if he gets 2d8 with it. I mean, it. they're not going to move into the fire if it's there. Anyway, yeah. we'll see what they're doing next round to worry about it. Okay. Um. So, yeah, is that it for Yax? Yeah. The Yax want to say anything to anybody about anything? Um... I don't know if they can hear what's going on. I mean, I shouted, bugs! I hate bugs! Okay, there you go. <laughs> so everybody else hears that. Nice. Okay, in that case, um, Logan and Olivier just following up again. Just inching their way on over. And then we go back to Ardeus. Alright, so I'm this gonna thing... tell Ardbart to back off a bit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this thing and uh, gonna... tried to tried to gribbity grab you and and failed because you're all buttery. <laughs> I'm going to hex him. Okay. Uh, the creature's strength and uh, I'm gonna push off him so I can slide out of here. <laughs> okay. Uh, so make a contested athletics. Okay. Athletics, here we go. Oh. Okay, oh. so you you beat him by one, so I'm not gonna give him an opportunity attack. You you managed to slide away from him. <laughs> Alright, and now I'm gonna blast him from outside here. <laughs> okay. Blast time. Blip blip. Alright. Uh that's one hit. Okay. Let's see, uh, Eldritch Hex, this one. I okay. Yep, you plink him. Then Ardbar's uh, gonna cast, uh... Ardbar oh. and, uh, Loishka, you can actually see this thing's face in the tunnel now. <laughs> I just stare right out there after I, after I pop my head in. <laughs> I'm willing to cast uh, Warding Bond on our days with our door. Okay. So now we're sharing the same health, basically. So if Loishka can see, can she shoot? Hmm. Loishka was preparing to shoot if any bugs, like, came at her from below, yeah? Yeah. What happened was our Deus came out of the hole. <laughs> okay. So, not exactly. Yeah. Gotcha. Well, I already finished I my see coffee. I guy's head sticking out, though. His, his head's not sticking out of the hole. You can right. just, if you look <laughs> into the tunnel, you can vaguely see its face. <laughs> the other thing is, Loishka doesn't have dark vision, so she can't see it very well. Uh -huh. Neither can Ardbar, actually. It's fine. They, they didn't do any attacks, only Ardeus. Yeah. <laughs> just uh, in terms of Loishka's reaction. All right, well, I'm going to tell everyone there's a big boy inside that hole. Like, if you shoot in there, you're probably going to hit him, regardless. <laughs> if, if you aim, as long as you hit in the hole, you're going to probably hit him. Okay. Um, is that it for Ards? Yeah. Okay. Um, next up is the Little Beetles. And, uh, this, this little beetle, uh, in front of Yax is just kind of gurgling. It's incredibly stunned for being chunked for most of its health in, in one hit, so it's just gonna kind of sit there, bleeding pathetically. Meanwhile, the other two are going to try and have a munch. This one, um, attempts to take a bite out of Yax's halberd, and... Let's see if it let's see if it even manages. Alright, it, it it misses attempting to attempting to get the halberd, and this one's gonna try to take a chomp at Yax's gauntlets. And uh, I assume that's below Yax's AC, so that also misses. And Yax, you notice right away that these things are just going for your equipment. As a player, I figured that was the case. So that's what those guys do. Do you want to communicate that? Um. Sure. 
I shout loud enough. I should just. You should just be like, they like the taste of steel. <laughs> Nobody will know what the fuck I'm talking about. I don't know if it's trying to eat me or my armor. You're furry. You don't wear armor. <laughs> Yex has the uh, the adamantium gauntlets. Ah, right. Those are I thought wyvern skin foot wraps or whatever oh. it was. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, snakeskin boots. I don't wear boots. Cat boots. Special occasions. Kitten mittens. Foot wraps. <laughs> yeah. Okay, anyway. Um, Iskra, so you're mittens, up. Yeah, I have like, those things they put on cats. Keep them from scratching the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Iskra? Uh, yes. We'll have Loishka just kind of help out with this dude. Okay. So she's going to look into the hole. Yeah, so she can see him from there, right? Yes, but he's obscured. So if you try to attack him, you will have disadvantage. It means you'll hit our deus in the ass. <laughs> just aim for the hole. <laughs> yeah, just aim for the hole. Uh, you'll, you'll have a harder time hitting, but if you're not doing anything else, then you might as well. Yeah, might as well just do that. One shot. Two shot. Actually, no, because disadvantage. So one shot. Well, no, it's still it's still two shots. But, but... Okay. So 26 hits. So your first, uh, your first blind shot hits the guy. So there you go. And then your second one, roll, roll me another. I did. You got your uh, 27 and 13. Oh, 27, 13, yeah. Um... Yeah, so the second one misses, but the first one hits, so you can roll damage on the first one. Yeah, that's what Okay. You you plink against the guy's hard shell and manage to uh, manage to give him a little bump with one of your arrows. Cool. Something tells me their hard shells are immune to piercing. It's better just to crush. Slash, maybe. Yes. Uh, if that's the insight that you want to take from what happened there, then who am I to stop you? I mean, unless you get like the chinks between the armor, see how it works. I don't know. They, they Jesus bugs. Christ. Okay. Give me a second. Okay. Um. Oh. That's better. Okay. Oh shit, let's smoke him out. <laughs> oh, yeah, we, we definitely should do that. Wasps hate it. Right. They should hate it too. Okay. But won't we be, be lighting fires on the Zaratan? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I'm usually on four fires, but I don't want to light a Zaratan on fire. Yeah. It's going to be like I'm... a little thought on its back. <laughs> uh, it's covered in like grass and shit, though. Yeah, it is covered help. in exceptionally dry savanna grass. Yeah, yeah. don't do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm specifically not going to use any kind of fireballs or anything. I was Just like, imagine I was imagine the Zaratan walking dead. around on fire. <laughs> Giant, like, fucking half a kilometer high flaming tortoise just marching into <laughs> town. Cat. California put on a turtle. <laughs> as much as this is always for, like, yeah, fire, haha, <laughs> joke, guys. Uh, maybe not this time. We could use smoke, though. Yeah, you Wait, can. You can am use. Am I standing on like a rocky area? Yeah, this is this is the back of the giant turtle. The uh, the giant rock turtle. Wait, no, the um, the raised area. Or is there grass up here as well? Uh, there's. Yeah, it's not. It's not grassy up there now. Okay, so I can have her continually. Create fires. Yeah. How much would it take for me to climb up to here? Well, it's thirty it's feet 30. up. It's half movement to climb, right? Yeah. If you don't have a climb speed, hmm. you're you're moving at thirty-five. Yeah. 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 So just half that. Uh, that okay. So let's just say straight up thirty-five. If I was right against the wall, which I am not. 
Uh, you you definitely need to hop up on your next turn. Yeah. So I'm just gonna get up the wall and just start climbing it. Okay. Maybe get it. Peer right. Over and Iskra begins these guys. scrambling up the wall. Uh, Wally. Yes. You're up. Okay. Are we seeing things? Uh, yeah, you can <laughs> you can see that Ardeus just came out of the hole and Iskra or sorry Loishka started shooting arrows into it. Okay, um, I'm gonna have Wizard Scout ahead. Okay. I in the skies. Okay, so he's gonna go here. Does he see anything? How uh, how high up is he? Up. How many um, feet? Um, I'd like to say ninety. Oh, okay, if he's 90 feet up, then he sees a whole bunch. I don't know, he could fly that high. Wings can take him everywhere. Nice. Yeah, so Wiz sees a bunch more bugs just feeding on old scraps over here. Mm, okay. The issue is he can't see shit. Um... Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I mean, I guess I could turn Wizard into into a big boy. Probably wait until he's on the ground to do that. <laughs> oh, yeah, you want to do some sweet fucking... <laughs> no, or you could, yeah, I was going to say, you could do a, a crazy plunging attack. <laughs> yeah, I can't do anything about... Uh, can't, I can't fucking... Mmm! I'm already fucking concentrating. Uh, Big Liz doesn't take um, concentration. Yeah, no, I'm. That's the thing. I'm thinking about like maybe giving him. Actually, wait. Hold on. Can he reach that? Because that was nine move. Hmm. That means that. Oh, okay. Mm, he's gonna end up dashing though. I don't want to waste a turn and make him fucking. I mean, it's big not. Wizard. It's not a. Um, oh, oh, to make him big. I was gonna say it's not a waste of a turn to uh, to scout. Because information is half the battle. Okay, well, I'm gonna continue doing that. Let's fly higher. Let's see what's up over here. On this big thing. Okay. Uh, Wiz sees that inside here there are another group of these guys. Okay. Just kind of munching, munching on all the all the little scrap bits of rock and metal that they can. Okay. So he he telepathically relays information of three there, three there. And the Wallies don't know what to do because they don't see anything. Well, you see that people are firing into a hole. Okay, so I'm standing here. Can I see into a hole? Uh, yes. The guy is, is half obscured by darkness, so attacks will have disadvantage if they are attack rolls. Uh, then we don't attack roll. No big fucking deal. Yeah, so just um, Ray of Frost is an attack roll, so if you have another spell to choose on, on Smalley. Uh, like Magic Missile? Yeah, if you want a Magic Missile. 34 plus 3? Yeah. Let's do that. Okay, so you fire magic missiles at the darkness and hit it for 13 damage. And I'll do the same thing with the other boy. Oh, wow, you just rolled fucking near max on both of those. Yeah, that felt pretty good. Fire <laughs> magic missiles at the darkness. It's been a while since I heard that one. You hear it practically every time we play D&D. At the... Okay, so yeah, you you just blast a whole bunch of magic missiles at the uh, at the tunnel at this bug creature, which makes a whole bunch of really angry hissing noises and starts foaming at the mouth. And you can actually see that the tunnel itself is uh, is starting to to bubble. Oh, is he trying to steal it? Can he uh, not come out? <laughs> roll insight. Uh, fuck. Okay. Um. Insight, plus five, and then 
If I roll, yeah, I can roll that with advantage. Oh, I oh, know exactly okay. what he's doing. <laughs> so, uh, Smalley pulls on, on, uh, on, uh, Tolly's uh, sleeve and is like, I saw this in a in a in a in a in an illustrated story once. I think he's gonna spray acid out of his face. Oh shit. Uh, okay. Well, we're gonna back the fuck up, uh, and then we're also gonna be like, watch out. He's he's about to spew acid. Out of the way. Acid. Okay, so because, um, because Wally, uh, warned you, uh, Ardeus and Ardbar can actually make this save with advantage. Very cool. Uh, what are we rolling? Uh, one sec. Let me just grab the attack here. Uh, but yeah, it's the, um... Hey Skips, it's the Umber Hulk's turn, and the Umber Hulk is going to. Ew. Uh, I knew that's what it was. Yeah, basically from uh, from a little um, like you you know, you know how aliens got the mouth within the mouth. Imagine one of yeah. those kind of shooting out and then spraying acid. Oh, shit. Um, Ish have that as well. Yep. So they it sprays acid in a in a thin line, and can I get a a dex save with advantage from Ardeus and and Ardbar? Okay, Ardeus first. So we got eighteen and seven, so eighteen. And Ardbar with a uh, thirteen and thirteen. Oh, okay. So Ardeus saves. Ardbar does not. <laughs> One moment. Uh, so that's 6d8. Alright, so Ardbar takes 27, and Ardeus takes 13. Sorry, 14. It's it's only split when Ar Ardeus gets hit. <laughs> okay, so Ardbar takes a whole no. bunch of acid damage. <laughs> oh my god. Poor, poor, poor Ardbar. 27? Yeah. And then 14, so another 7 on top of that, and then only 7 for, for Ardeus. So. Yeah. Watch me melt my son's fucking face off, I guess. <laughs> I have another push of the metal dolls. Really after he eats a little bit. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> Slide. <laughs> he's he's it. got it's that like healing factor. <laughs> yeah. A bunch of weird slimy noises in his face. <laughs> and reconstructs like a big oh, that, took, that took that out more than half of HP straight away. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, so that guy just sits in his cave and, and sprays acid at you. Uh, only if we had like control or something, we <laughs> could just block, block it. Please. Yeah, just block the cave. <laughs> Alright, so that's, that's all for that thing's turn. Uh, next up is Yax. I wish I could sit in a cave and do acid. <laughs> that is all. Um. Alright. Uh... <gasps> okay, Pumpkin's gonna go first, and she's gonna cast Create Bonfire again on this guy. Okay. Underneath that guy. All right, that guy fails. Roll your uh, two two d eight fire. All right, that guy gets toasty. Uh, and then uh, when the reaction. when the fire uh, starts lighting that guy, his uh, his body starts steaming and making hissing sounds like a kettle. Oh, good, gross. I'm gonna attack this one. Okay. I'm gonna roll a whole lot. Uh, Alright, so nine. I take it that hits. Yep. Uh, 
you uh so that that second one leaves this guy in a in a state similar to that first guy where he's just completely smashed barely clinging to oh. life just twitching okay um so I'll, I'll aim the last attack at the middle one okay yep just molting <laughs> all right and then uh the middle one is is actually doing okay amazing yeah these these two are 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 close to death and then and then this one this one right here is is still snapping at you though you have fractured its shell i'm prioritizing yep all right all three of them actually look relatively close to death I, uh, I figured it was something like that. Yeah. Okay, um... Uh, is that it for Yax and Pumpkin? Um... I don't really feel like there's a heck of a lot more I could be doing. Okay. I'll come down and help you guys once I... Finish off those guys. Okay. Sufficiently. Unless you really need it. Like, if you need help, if you really need help, just scream for help. Yeah, I think we're we're okay. I think we just have to move out of its spitting range and just pop out <laughs> and every now and then. So, the thing that our Deus and them are fighting right now, that's uh, the monstrosity I'm detecting, or is it also the bugs with the axe? Uh, everything bug-like here is a monstrosity. Okay. That time to go killing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get, like... Advantage against uh, them? He, he gets bonus damage against monstrosities and aberrations from ranger stuff. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I, I forgot how that worked. <laughs> I get plus four bonus damage to them. On weapon attack. Nice. Okay. Uh... Let me look up the details of this spell real quick. This is from one of the new books. Oh, I see. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, so Logan uh, comes up here and says, Let's let's see how <laughs> let's see how this guy likes a, a taste of his own medicine. And um, points over to him and generates a, a line of acid. That sprays that guy in the face. Oh shit! <laughs> uh, so it needs to make a deck save. It's making it at plus one, and it fails. So this guy is now covered in in acid, and it's gonna take damage at the start of each of its turns. The acid monster is covered in acid. Its uh, its face is now is now covered in acid. So I'm gonna just give oh, it a man. little symbol here. <coughs> if Wolf were here, I would have had him like standing in front, getting ready to grab <laughs> its mouth mouth thing. <laughs> That'd been great. <laughs> the moment it stuck out its tongue mouth thing, it would have grabbed onto it, <laughs> squeezed <laughs> it. <laughs> Probably suicidal too. <laughs> All right, and then well, Olivier comes up here. Remember that one time when I was playing as a dwarf and I just jumped into the <laughs> jumped inside the mimic and started attacking it from within. <laughs> what was this? This was at my birthday that one year. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure you were playing as Sneaky Pete. And I was, I was, Fox, Fox my name again? I don't remember. You were the, the, the dwarf. dwarf cleric. There yeah. was, um, Protea Sugarbush, there was Sneaky Pete, uh, there was Lug Lug. But the last one. Lug Lug was like an automaton, right? No, no, you're, you're thinking my, my next birthday after that with the Christmas oh. one. Where he was a nutcracker. That's right. 
Wait, so which one was the one where you were a dwarf, then? The first one that I did when Megan was there. Megan was playing Protea. Yeah, I, I fucking... I don't remember what his name was, but I remember it was really good. I can... Oh, it was it was Brother Sharp. Yes, <laughs> right. I was a brother at one point. To think. But I'm no longer a brother. <laughs> yeah, brother it, was, it was Brother Sharp, and then for my birthday you played the, uh, the detective guy. Yeah. Detective man yeah. and brother sharp. The detective, and then what was Sarah? You were the Yeti, I think. Probably, possibly. You were either you were either the Yeti or you were the disgruntled factory guy, the uh, the gnome, who was like a I used gnome stats, but they were like a Christmas elf, and he was using like a bolt gun. I think she was the Christmas elf. Yeah, I, I feel like I was. was. Okay. Ed. No, uh, Ed was the Nutcracker, so the Yeti went unused. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, there were five. Because I think I remember the Christmas elf. Oh wait, no, Cryo, you were the Yeti. Yeah, I was. The, yeah, I was, oh. I was. I was the Bard. No, I thought Megan. Okay. Oh no, okay. that means Megan was the Yeti. I thought Megan was the Bard. No, okay. I was a Bard. Oh, okay, so Megan was the Yeti. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Yeah, that was, that was a thing. And then the Rona happened, and I couldn't do it again. It's okay. We'll resume. Yeah. we'll resume another year. Yeah. Okay, anyway, uh, where were we? Right, Logan and Olivier. So Logan uh, sprayed that dude in the face, and Olivier is coming here to protect with his shield. Uh, and then we go back to Ardeus. All right, uh, straight away, blasting him. <laughs> okay, go for it. Uh, blit, blit. Two hits. Very good. Honk, honk. Blit, blit. 28. 28. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to doot my horn, heal Ardbard a bit, and we're going to back off a bit here. Get out of range. <laughs> okay. Out of vision. <laughs> Ardbard's gonna second win. Okay. I'll heal for three and with my dudes. My healing words. So seven. Eight, eight, eight. eight, eight, eight. <laughs> Wonderful. And then back at back at half. And uh that'll be my turn. Okay. Uh Yax, these things, the one of them is still trying to to bite at you. The others are, are just sitting there gurgling in a in a I pile of their own viscera. Of oh, okay, that one actually gets a hit in. It's okay, next next turn they're gonna gurgle their last gurgle. Yax takes a total of three damage. Oh no. What watch that be like life or death later on. <laughs> And yeah, that's that's all that they can do. So next up is Iskra. Yes. So you guys are liking metally bits. Uh, how about obsidian? Will they eat that? Uh, obsidian is glass. Perfect. So they don't care for that as much, maybe. Actually, hold up, obsidian. They do have carapace, though, right? Uh, yeah, they, they do have hard shells. So that that's like natural armor. Yep. Damn. Okay! Well, worth a try. Uh, those are metal. Those are also... Th I have my, my Rococo dagger, I guess. That, that doesn't hurt living things, though, right? Yeah, yeah it doesn't hurt issue. living things. <laughs> <laughs> I could just like try to dangle it in front, like ooh, ooh, dagger, ooh. I mean, it, it would probably work for an intimidation check, especially against like intelligent creatures. And aim, aim, use your arrows in their eyes. It's probably, get opening, yeah. big opening. Well, yeah, I was gonna say out of out of all your equipment, the arrows are probably the most expendable. Whop. 
You know, I'm going to just shoot him with the adamantine arrows. Okay. So, do that. But first of all... Yep, so you just climb on up there. This hole. Okay. Excellent. So, he's Hunter's Mart. Uh... Yeah, just start shooting at him. Alright, go for it. So that's a miss. And a hit. Okay. Oh wait, uh, I have the d4 still. Oh yeah, the bless. Uh, okay, turns into a hit. Excellent. I should have 2d8 plus 2d6 plus 8 plus another... Eight, that makes sixteen. Then, right? Yeah. Excellent. Not excellent. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you you don't quite kill the thing, but you do pierce its its carapace in such a way that you you knock it over, and it sits there, kind of kicking its limbs in the air. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna grab the like magic items are indestructible, right? Generally, yes. So usually, the um, usually the, the they can only be destroyed through use of magic. Okay, so these things can't eat a magic dagger, then, right? Yeah, probably not. I'm gonna take this chance and just throw. I mean, the magic they could dagger. they could swallow it. Oh, we'll swallow it! They're not gonna get out of them. That's fine. They can't Wait, so you it, you throw the magic rakako dagger at it? What Maybe are you doing? Maybe not this one. I was thinking maybe I'd just leave it off to the side if I need it, just like for a plan for later if I had to like split attention. Well, anyway, you used up all your actions attacking the guy anyway for now. Yeah, uh, that's for later. Okay. Uh, uh, that's him. Yeah, anything, yeah, anything with Wojska? Still disadvantage, right? Because yeah, hiding cause in hole. Yeah, because he's in the dark and you don't have any kind of dark vision. Doesn't she have the goggles? Yeah, if you want to wear them. But, um, you would have to, like, specify that you want to put them on. Uh, that's a good, it's also, you probably, right yeah, you probably don't want to wear them when you're under right the sun. Outside. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're gonna fucking burn your eyes out. <laughs> <laughs> I just remembered that. Yeah, let's not do that then. So I'm just gonna shoot blindly into there. Okay, so roll me an attack with disadvantage. And, uh, whoop, make sure I don't get our dais in the range. Okay, so that's a uh, miss and a hit. Actually, sorry, this is the one, the one. So that's that's a miss, and then yeah. roll your second, and that's a miss. Okay, let's all sit back down here. Okay. Uh, okay, Wally, you're up. Hi. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Everything's like up top. I don't want to go up top. I'm too much of a pussy. It's big, big place. Probably some down low. I guess there's this guy. Yeah, I guess it's still open, right? Yeah, the holes, the holes still there. It just sprayed acid out and got acid sprayed back at it. Okay. Is um. Hmm. Would toll the dead be with a disadvantage? Uh, no, it's, uh, that's a saving throw, so that's all on him. Okay. Told the dead, that mofo. Okay, so it needs to make a wisdom save. Which it fails, so roll your damage. Nice. 2d12? Yep. Eat shit and die. Ooh, big ones. Yeah, it, it dies. Yep. And Logan's like, aww, down. my acid! Oh yeah, didn't even get time to... Didn't even get to work. That's alright. Oh, I'm sorry, Logan. Now, now I'll never oh, know man. if it actually does damage or not. Oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Got some more, F. right? Yeah, it took a spell slot. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, well, I'll just have, um... I'll have my boy. My boy. Where is my boy? My lovely boy! Oh, there he is. There he is. He's like a little rock. <laughs> um, 
He's gonna go peek in here. Okay. So wait, let's see. Let me just let me go here instead. So thirty feet, so six squares. So he's gonna go over here. And he's gonna take a look inside. Okay, nice. There's three in here. And let's go and fly somewhere else. Maybe. So that was six, yeah. So then I have. Sexy hmm? ass. Excuse me. That's what I heard. I said six feet. Oh wait, no, that's not even the fucking right guy. Hold on, motherfucker. Okay, over here. That little dot. Bada bing, bada boom. Does he see anything anywhere? Uh, he actually sees... a little tunnel entrance. <gasps> Where? Over here? Right here. Oops, that's on the wrong layer. Oh. Let me just uh, put that on the right layer. There we go. So he sees a tunnel entrance right here. Okay. All right, let's see. And then he's got uh, six more moves, so he could probably check out this place. Okay. And lo and behold... He sees, he sees more of these guys. Oh, I love you, my lovely boy. You're so handy. There you go. A bunch more of these, okay. these little munchy creatures. Okay, he's gonna sit there and stare at them. <laughs> Can the Wally see these guys? Uh, they're up a, they're up a cliff. Ah, uh, yeah. shit. I'm gonna have trouble getting up, guys. <laughs> oh. Cause he's all buttery. GG. You can't unsummon the butter, can you? No, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna wash it off. <laughs> Hold I'm on. But I'm butter for a good one minute. Well, there is a hole over here, so. <laughs> well, that gives me ideas for at least like two R and D stuff that we should probably make. A deep butterer. A deep butterer. <laughs> just, honestly, honestly, just, just use a piece of bread. <laughs> just start wiping him down with a bread, and then eat the bread. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> then have a unique wretched. alcoholic flavor to it. Yeah, it's it's like how when bakers make sourdough, the unique <laughs> composition of their bacteria changes the flavor of the sourdough. Hey, yeah. I showed you that. Yeah, Christine <laughs> shared that with me, so no stealing. What? I didn't steal uh, it. It's just a fact. I didn't invent fucking uh, sourdough. I stole the fact from a different source, and they stole it from another one. It's, you don't. You yeah. can't steal a fact. Facts are the same, regardless of things. No, they're my endearing character trait. <laughs> <laughs> so we could have, like, uh, special, uh, hard, hard, hard bread. bread. <laughs> yeah. Hard bread. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm just gonna roll around in the, in the dough. With your special butter. hard yeast. <laughs> so I just told the dead, so I can't fucking do anything with Wallace. So, Smallest, what are you, what are you gonna do? Uh, he's gonna do nothing. He might prepare an action while well, looking this way. See if anything shows their head. Okay. Uh, and yeah, if they do, then he's gonna ray of frost. Okay. I suppose. Okay, cool. Not much I can do. Alright, in that case, yeah. is that it for Wally team? Yeah, team Wally's good. Okay, good Yex. Team. Yex, you're up. Um, center guy. Alright, that's a hit. A hit? Yep. And that fucking deletes him. Deletes him? Yeah, just smash him into goop. Okay. Um, do I have to roll to finish off the other guys? Uh, you can roll with advantage, since they're prone. Okay. Alright, so that annihilates one of them. And give me another roll. Alright, that annihilates the other one. Alright, there you go. Um, so you squish three bugs. Do you guys need help from Pumpkin down there? 
think we're, we're pretty all right here. You're at the in thing the in the tunnel, right? Yep, the thing yeah, in the tunnel I'm is like, now I'm dead. Going in there. Okay. Uh, notably, its body is is blocking progress into the tunnel. However, ah shit! Oh. All right, pumpkin's gonna climb up another fifteen feet and um, roll to perceive more bugs while I look up her perception. Yeah, Wiz Wiz has given people a uh, a general look at where the rest of the bugs are. Oh, well, okay. maybe we could use a bonfire to like start smoking these guys out. Just have a bonfire outside, and I'll start fanning the smoke inside this whole little hole. I mean, if you- if you- you'll have to put some wood down there, though. Sorry, you know, cause then you- I don't know if, like- see, see, like, the spell create bonfire? I feel like it wouldn't produce a lot of smoke. It, yeah, it, it like doesn't- burning, it doesn't- like, yeah, it doesn't- like, yeah. It doesn't create a literal bonfire, it just makes oh, a little flame. Okay. But if, if you were to put down some wood and then cast Create Bonfire on it... Then you would create a little right. bonfire. Yeah. So let's get some get some leaves and wood and whatnot. Um, That's what I'm doing my turn. <laughs> Why are now, we still nope. trying to make a fire? I was gonna... Well, you want to make a fire inside the hole so that it doesn't okay. spread anywhere and then smoke them. However, it's gonna take a long-ass time to smoke them out. Yeah. Like, right. Maybe it would be more effective to draw them to this entrance. Yep. Agreed. Yeah. Do we have anything, um... Could, could I fit in those holes easily? Uh, not easily, no. No? You could, you could crawl in there, but you would be crawling around at a severely slowed pace. I should learn how to butter brother other people up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the only reason Ardeus was able to get in there at all is because he was buttered, and even then he, he would be <laughs> struggling to move in there. The reason that these these things can move is because they have a burrow speed. Mm -hmm. Okay, I was just wondering because, like, goblin, small size. Me. Yeah, you're not really a natural digger, and you don't have, like, magical burrowing capabilities, so... You you guys definitely can't navigate these tunnels easily. Okay. What? And Brino's gonna give it a go though. <laughs> Not you too. Well. What? Yeah. All right. Uh, in that case, Logan yeah. and Olivier. Uh, Logan is going to come up here and patch our bar up a bit. <laughs> Very good, thank you. There we go, Ardbar can have another 13 hit points. He's hitting, he's at a safe 44. Okay, cool. And then, uh, Olivier comes over here. You know what, he's he's gonna be on the imp. There we go, there's Olivier. <laughs> can... uh, the imp was on Ardbar anyway. Yeah. <laughs> How well could Olivier throw Eloishka? Uh... You could probably throw Loishka like twenty feet. Dark. And that's okay, that's if Loishka is... that's if Loishka was already like in motion or Olivier started like spinning her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so if I like run up to Olivier, could he like basically like footstool me up? You'd to, also like, the side of the... I was gonna say you'd also probably land prone. Eh. Fine. You gonna bowl Loishka? I want to just like have him like maybe chuck her up to the side so she can just climb the last bit. Uh, e not really. You can't really like springboard off somebody like it's Super Mario. What that does is that it that. yeah it, it <laughs> makes it easier for you to climb sheer surfaces if you do that. But this is not a sheer surface. This is an easily climbable surface, so you're you're able to like scale it with no checks or anything. It's just using your climb speed, because you are moving upwards. On, on your off time, you should practice throwing each other. Get it throwing throwing each line. other, yeah. Just, just get just get Loishka <laughs> to start trying to throw Olivia around. <laughs> just fall, I can catch you. Pancake. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, back to Ards. Okay, uh, well, I, I I can't climb up. I'll have my other boy start climbing up, though. Okay. 
the art bard's gonna start dash climbing up at 30 feet high. Yeah, it's 30 feet. At the normal climb speed is. Uh. It's half, right? That's yeah. Normal so, speed so if he half. dashes, then he's then he's got thirty. So he just clings to the to the ledge. Yep. Yeah, so just at the ledge. <laughs> Imp is gonna go explore a little, do, do Invisa cave exploring. Gonna get probably lost in there, but that's fine. <laughs> yeah. So the the cave the caves like straight up branch out in a million directions. That's fine. Uh, it'll give him something to do. He usually doesn't. Do anyway. <laughs> yeah. I'll I'll let you know if he runs into anybody. <laughs> and uh I'm gonna go Actually let me just uh tumble. let me just roll hold on. Let me just roll like <laughs> realize something. Oops. If I if I had to miss like miss grab something while I was tumbling buttered, I'm gonna fall okay. to my death. <laughs> I'll just I'll just scroll back to this and reference it once in a while. What the fuck is that? That's me determining random directions that the tunnels branch. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Alright, I'm gonna tumble down this way. Blip. Blip. And... Okay. Still kind of fine with their uh, connection. Creaky trick. Can I see this imp from over here? Uh, the rust monster? Yeah. Uh, not imp, the rust yeah. monster yet. Uh, yes, but it has half cover from there. Alright, I'm blasting it anyway. Might as well. Okay. So. What, what? Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. That's two hits. Okay, very cool. Oh, Hello, um, Ardvar to... needs to make a concentration check, by the way. Oh, concentration? Okay. What? Oh, he's fine. That's just from when he took the acid damage. To maintain ah. the uh, the bless, and this is my damage fourteen. There you go, blap blap. All right, and uh, that's our turn. Okay, um, so you get the attention of those rust monsters who who clickety clack their their crabbity claws together, and uh, do a do a big do a big shriek and start running at you. Just, just kind of scrambling out the door to get at you. Let me just. Oh yeah. Yep. So these guys move like the friggin' wind at you. Oh shit! They're right here. <laughs> yeah. So Wiz, Wiz sees these bugs take off like a friggin' shot. Uh, they did dash, so they they can't attack this turn. But they all just. They 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 get a look at you. They hit you. They they catch a scent of metal, and they just they just barrel on at you. So that's oh, that's okay. it for those ones, and then the ones over by Iskra. So this this one in front of Iskra is just gurgling here, kicking its limbs uh, ineffectually. But this one. Uh, comes comes around, sees what's going on, and jumps at Iskra and tries to take a bite out of her crossbow. No. All right. Uh, what's Iskra's AC? It should be seventeen. Okay. Check. So this thing bites into Iskra's crossbow and damages it. Oh, how bad? Uh, the crossbow now has a minus one penalty until repaired. Okay. Wally, I'm gonna need you later. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Yeah, um, we should probably summon them using metal after yeah, and we beat these guys up. This one, this <laughs> one comes <laughs> around and, and tries to have a nibble at Iskra's toes. But maybe we could probably, like shoot arrow and have them come by. I think we still have... Hold on, what do we have? Uh, Iskra takes two damage. We have a bag of iron filings. You do. Oh. Yeah. So if we just, like, throw it as a cloud, what would that do? 
Oh. Uh, well, these Make things, yeah, these things seem attracted to the smell of metal, so. I also have a bunch of ball bearings, too, so. <laughs> And caltrops. And iron spikes. I <laughs> just have a lot of stuff on my <laughs> day. You got the bear trap. <laughs> and, and, like, ten daggers. <laughs> what else do I got on me that's metal? You uh, could just use the iron filings and you don't have to sacrifice useful equipment. I, I imagine bear traps are very effective against these guys because they, they just get attracted to them and put their faces in them anyway. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like setting a mouse trap and not having to bait it with anything. <laughs> Excellent. Amazing. <laughs> mm, got a short bow, got crossbows. Okay. Uh, yeah, Iskra, it is, it is your turn now. Okay. Yes, a rapier and a cutlass too. Okay. Well. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So one of them is oh. currently clamped onto your crossbow, just munching at it, just just eating straight through the metal. Can I still shoot the crossbow right now, or? Uh, yes, but with disadvantage. Which one's the one biting on crossbow uh, the right one, now? The one right above you. Okay. Also, you the only enemies first. that are around you are in melee anyway. Yeah, that's why he's going to die first. So what are you hitting him with? Uh, oh, I didn't write that down. Hold up. Let me... The light ray is ranged, so I get disadvantage in melee as well, right? Yes. Okay. Good to know for the next time. Okay, fine. So we're gonna switch to melee. I'm gonna grab my silver cutlass or rapier, one or the other. Let's say the cutlass. Okay. I'm gonna put Slayer's Prey on the one above me munching on my crossbow. Okay. Do you, so do you want to drop your crossbow to uh, to take out your sword? I probably shouldn't, but yeah. Well, that's, that's basically the only way that you can. Yeah. So that's your Slayer's Prey, not your Hunter's Mark? Yeah, my Slayer's Prey. Okay, let me find the symbol. There we go. Okay. And let's... Alright. So you stab the thing twice. 2d8 plus 1d6. Plus 16. Alright, 23. So you stab into the thing's shell twice. And uh, and it penetrates and, and stabs deep into the thing, causing it to, to let go of your crossbow and fall to the ground. However, you smell something really, really weird. It smells smells kinda like acid. And you look at your uh, at your silver weapon and you notice that it's it's melted pretty badly. Oh, god damn it. So that thing now has a minus two on it. Uh, can I, like, pick up my crossbow and just kind of keep it away from these things for now? Uh, you've dropped the crossbow, drawn another weapon, and attacked twice, so not this turn. Uh, okay. You can, you can maybe kick it aside. Okay, I'll kick it aside then, at least. Okay. Perfectly over here somewhere they can't reach it. You could kick it like this way. Uh, not the key on it, but okay. Mm. Yeah, okay. We'll do that then. Okay. So you just kick your crossbow to the side there. I'll say it's right here. And uh, so yeah, you got a you got a melty sword now. <laughs> Okay. So the minus two is just to damage, right? It's damage and to hit. Ah. Uh, okay. Two hit slash damage. Okay. And then it's also the same. Hey Frogo, how's it going? Hi Frogo. How are you? Oh. Ooh. 
Loishka okay. can't see them at all from there. Hmm. Froggy Freyish, yeah. Okay, she's just gonna start heading down to help our dais. Um. Um. Uh, I'm about to bolt <laughs> the other ways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna go down here. Just shoot one of them. I need to look at the and... conditions of Brother Butter uh, again. Let me just open the document. <laughs> I always forget what what all the stipulations are yeah, and what okay. it does with. Does it do anything with opportunity attacks? Uh, no, but I'm gonna tumble. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so that gives you a disengage, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Tumbles my all in one. <laughs> Actually, can you do me a favor and, like, paste that into our DM? Yeah. The tumble? The, uh, the brother butter. Oh, brother brother? I'll just pin it since I'm on top of it right now. Oh, okay. Because that's where I'm looking at it. <laughs> oh, oh, in the DM, okay. Yeah, in the DM. <laughs> There we go. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Ow. Okay. Two shots from Leishka. Those are uh, hits, right? Where, where's Leishka shooting? At the lowest one, this one. At this guy? Yeah, so those are both hits. What ammo is she using, by the way? Standard crossbow bolts. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, she hits for 11 damage, and you notice that both of the bolts instantly melt in their entirety when they hit the creature. Okay. Hide behind a little bush, I'm assuming. Yeah, it's a bush. Alright, is that it for Loishka? Yep, that's it for them. Okay, Wally, you're up. Hey, let's go. Um, so yeah, we're gonna- we're gonna go in here and- and save Ardeus a bit. Just a wee bit. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, what can we do? Um... Curse my fucking fireball here. Uh... I could... Hmm. Transforming Wizard is a fourth level spell. Yeah. So I can't. Um, really... Ardeus, uh, Ardeus plans on using his tumble and uh, booking it the hell out of there as soon as he can. Yeah, which is why I want to do some damage. Mm. They're they're fast. They're gonna be right on you guys by the time I'm with you. By the way. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Well, I guess we might as well do the usual wombo combo. Told the dead and okay. uh, which one's your target? Uh, ray of frost is. Hold on, is it one ray or is it? it it's one ray, but it's two d eight. Okay. Um. Actually, why don't we do a magic missile for all of them? Okay, so one one one. Yes, three d four plus three. Okay, so two four three. And then we're going to Toll the Dead, perhaps the middle one. Alright, one moment. Let me make a wisdom save for him. This is the perfect time to use Hammer of Opetus. I haven't used it at all. <laughs> okay, so he fails, so roll your 2d12. Jesus, what the fuck, Wally? Okay, there you go. Okay, and then we're going to book it. Okay. Now uh, let's see how far I can go. Mm, not that far. Cool. Not really that cool. But fuck it, whatever. And then... Wizard is going to fly on back just in case. Okay. And he's going to go the maximum back. And he's going to land... Right beside Loishka. Where he's gonna land on Loishka's head. There you go. Loishka has a lizard now. Wah. Loishka doesn't care. I guess not. Cryo? <laughs> Wizard is, is a little bit sad that there he's you not go. I, got the, I said the wah. 
Oh, I guess it didn't pick up. Wee. Wee. <laughs> okay, anyway, um... Is that it for Wally? Yeah. Okay, uh, in that case... Yax, you're up. Uh, you've got those guys on the guess guard. Yeah, I think we got okay. the guys on me. I'm gonna poke around here a little bit for stuff we can use as bait then, because they seem to be munching. Yeah, there's there's, there's just a, a bunch of scraps of mostly digested metal here. Anything else around here? Nothing that looks particularly useful or intact. Uh, is that a chest? Uh, yes, it looks like it was chewn through and all the valuables inside, likely coins, were, were eaten. If you open these guys up, you find, like, a mass of, of fused together metal in, in each of their stomachs, basically. Hmm. Can that be used as bait? Uh, yeah, just anything, anything metal they'll be, they'll be attracted to. Alright, I just gather up what I can, and... Uh, yeah, I don't know, dump it over the cliff. <laughs> I guess uh, the, the yeah, point. the thing is, if they're, if they're already munching on metal, they're gonna continue munching on the metal they're munching on currently, rather than going out to grab new metal. They're, uh, they're not very much a fan of corn. Oh. We have iron, iron filings or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, so basically, like, each each of these guys is currently, like, having a little feast. So you need to, like, distract them and then put iron somewhere. And then, and then like, hide around a corner. It's so, like you'd have to draw them over first. Yeah. Well, I mean, this this doesn't account for the whole infestation either. There must be hundreds of these things, right? Uh, this uh, this battle like represents your them. your efforts in clearing them out. Uh. Okay, all right. You know, I'll just if baiting them's not going to work then I'll just start making my way It's over uh, it's not that it's going to work it's just that you need to like lure them and then bait them mm -hmm. That seems harder than just like running over there Oh how far okay so he will be there No it's like somewhere over here Okay what? so you oh. jump off the cliff or you well, climb, down. climb down. Yeah. But now that I think about it, what's what's that distance? Can I jump this? You could you could jump this easily. Can I jump that? 20 yeah. feet? Mm. Well it's not it's not twenty feet. It's like it's like ten it's like like less than fifteen. That seems more efficient. Like just this? Fourteen feet. Is that my you can you can jump a number of feet equal to your strength. Okay. What does that do to your move? Uh, you're just uh, jumping doesn't really affect your movement. Oh. It's just how many feet you can jump per round, basically. So I can be like over here. <laughs> I can be like right there if I'm still hasted. Yeah. I don't know what Pumpkin's gonna do. I guess she's got line of sight to this area. More or less. It's far away, though. Okie dokie. Um... Alright, Yax jumps in. Yax jumps in. Uh... I can't tell whether these things are upside down or not. <laughs> They look like bats to me. Oh. I keep thinking of bats hanging around upside down because I'm zoomed so far out. These ones are all right side up. Yeah, I know. I I know they're right side up, but in my brain, they look like bats hanging upside down. I can maybe see that a bit. The the little 
dangly bits on them look a bit like bat ears. Yeah. Also, I hate Roll20. I hate it. I hate this program. Why does it scroll like that? Well, they look, they look like those, like, gnarly bats, right? Yeah. Which are still cute. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so is that it? I mean, yeah, if I can't reach it, I can't really shoot it from here. There seems to be a wall in the way, so... Uh, like with pumpkin? Um, oh yeah, pumpkin could probably hit that. Okay, let's go it. Yeah, there's a uh, hundred feet there, 115 I, feet I, here, I, and then there's a wall here. Most of our spells are 60 feet. They're almost all like 60 feet, except for I think Moonbeam. 30, 60, oh, none of them are over 60 feet. Why is that Which one? Hmm? Longer range spell. I thought I had one that was 120 feet, but I guess not. That's Moonbeam. Moonbeam oh, is 120 feet. Oh? I forgot I could jump 40 feet up. <laughs> oh, using your <laughs> psychic ability? <laughs> I, oh, I, I like, how the fuck am I going to be here? <laughs> so you can for like a whole, a whole minute. <laughs> okay, so there's no point in like. What I was thinking earlier, like RD stuff is like basically make like. Uh, slide or something, just got the lingerie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, he's got. Yeah, here. he's got mighty leap, so he can he can move straight upwards. Okay, so yeah, there's no point in like making a, like a special like <laughs> ramp that just like a springboard, basically a, a shield ramp. <laughs> I guess I could cast moonbeam. It's really a bit of a waste of moonbeam right now, but. Mm. I was thinking more long lines, like an actual springboard, just like the second you touch it, it just goes up and just sends you flying up. Me spinning around in the air. <laughs> in my uh. Uh, I'm not I'm not gonna jump right now. I'm gonna take care of these fellas first. Concentration up to ten rounds. Oh fuck it, we'll fucking space laser this guy. Okay, that guy's getting space lasered. Stick your moon down and it'll make a con save for him. Mm, okay. Mm. Okay, so he takes half damage. So roll your 2d10. Alright. Take six, and you get your moonbeam down, which you can move around as your space laser, your yeah. particle cannon. Can I, can, I, can I move pumpkin closer? Uh, yeah, you can. You can move her. She's right now. She's like all the way up that tree. I know she's gonna have to spend like a round and a half climbing down the tree first, but that's okay. She's halfway down the tree. Okay. Yax just shouts at her where to move the moonbeam. Okay, um... Is that it for Yax? Yeah. Okay, Logan and Olivier That's next. Special. Logan, uh... Olivier moves to protect. Logan... Logan's gonna position himself this way. Logan does not like climbing. <laughs> Log Logan is too old. <laughs> it, Brandon, is this is this ninety feet from? Is this ninety feet up from this or ninety? Feet no, it's it's ninety feet from base level, so it's sixty okay. feet from there. Okay. Okay, um... Back to Ards. Alright, I am going to tumble. And while I'm moving back, when I'm right around here, I'm gonna do my, uh, Hammer of Opetus on all three of them. Okay, that was the one that was just, like, shatter, yeah? Uh, it's... It's, like, uh, kind of like shatter in a way, yeah. The strength save, though. 
and it prevents them from using their re reaction when it's the, uh, after their next turn. Hold on, let me uh, jump to that. Hammer, hammer of, there we go, hammer of opetus. Uh, each creature in the spell's area, strength save, 2d6 bludgeoning, can't take reactions, unsuccessful, okay. Okay. 15 by 5 foot line. So that, that would, um, you would need to be, like, here to hit all three of them. Oh, okay. Yeah, it goes, it goes straight out. Oh, oh okay. It's a yeah. line, all right. It's like I'm it, it, it do that then. yeah, it, it pounds the ground and then it does like, like, you know, attacks in games that, that send <laughs> like a, like a ground shock wave. Yeah. Like <laughs> all right, tea. I see. So I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to back up right over here. Uh, I'm going to go into the bush. Okay. Like, tumble into the bush. All right. You're now in the bush. And, uh, I'll, I'll blast the middle one. Okay. Oh, uh, no, wait, I tumbled, so I'll just straight up blast them. Blip, blip. Alright, two hits. Blip, blip. Ooh, very good. Alright, that one goes down. Alright, uh, Ardbard's gonna climb up here. And a aim down, and he's gonna get ready to Sacred Flames, whoever passes by this way. Okay. And that's, uh, that's our turn. Alright. Imp is still like, doing a little cave exploring. Uh, right, let me scroll back up to... Okay, so he ends up... Hmm... So he ends up he ends up like going to around there. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, and then yeah, it's the rust monsters next. And uh, yeah, these guys these guys just continue their charge towards you. So you can pull your sacred flames on either the top one or the bottom one. I'll take the top one. Okay. Uh, so it needs right, to right, make a deck save. Yeah. Uh, which I think it fails. What's your DC? Ardbard's DC is, I'd say, hold up. I think it's 13, but let me check just to make sure. No, it's 12. So oh, so he succeeds. <laughs> All right. And then they, they just run on up to you. They dashed again, so they can't attack this turn. Um, however, these ones, this one is going to attempt to bite at Iskra again. And then these two are just flailing on the ground, gurgling their guts out. Okay, so that's a miss against Iskra, and then these cool. ones are going to come up to Yax here. So it moves out of the radius of the moonbeam. This is double clicking for some reason. This one can't quite get up to you without dashing. So two attacks against Yax. Um, what's Yax's AC? Uh, 18 with haste. Okay, so that's actually two hits. So they just start nibbling on you, and once again, you take a total of four damage. Why is it like half damage? Because you're raging. Oh, yeah. You have resistance to physical. Okay, so yeah, they just they just start nibbling at you. Oh, no. Yeah. Pretty much, these things definitely do way more damage to equipment than they do to flesh. That's why I'm, I am perfectly poised. To yeah, with all your magical them. gear. <laughs> uh, okay, so Iskra, you're up. Uh, I want to make this boy gurgle next. Hmm? I'm trying to think of the best way to make him do that. Uh, oh. Put your peepee -pee in his mouth. <laughs> Do it. I get a melty pee pee. Melty pee -pee. Is your sorry? Is your dick made of metal? You <laughs> get a vaguna. <laughs> Turns out it was just a dildo the whole time. <laughs> it's a steely Dan. 
Good. Good, 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 good. Mm. Let's see. <laughs> Just remembering Sarah calling Pharaoh a ding dong. <laughs> that was really cute. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> Timing on it. A really good insult. <laughs> So what are I'm you doing, sure Iskra? I called all of you Ding Dong at some point. Yeah, we'll start with Loishka. Okay. And she can... One of the ones down there are dead. She'll just go and shoot the one down below. Just take a peek okay. out. <laughs> just looking around the butter man? Yeah. <laughs> I don't care, like, how buttery smooth it'll be that, like, my arrow flies between the butt cheeks. Okay. It so doesn't roll deserve your, that. Roll them. You roll your attacks. Your so that's a miss and a hit. I actually, my other cat was bugging me, Oops. and her favorite thing to do is sit in a clean laundry basket. <laughs> so I moved the clean laundry basket from outside in the hallway to the other side of me. So now I've got Pharaoh asleep on one side, and Nick's in the laundry basket on the other, so I can, like, <laughs> reach down and scratch her ears. She'll stop screaming at me. <laughs> <laughs> stop scratching for a moment. Okay, so Loishka feeds uh, this thing another arrow. Yes. See, come, come a certain time of night, so just sit there and be like, come to bed. Come, it's time for you to go to bed. Come to bed. So I can sit in bed and cuddle her. <laughs> Iskra. How much did it take to, like, get these guys to, like, flip about? What do you mean? Literally, like, God getting numbers though I just really like how much effort like if I were to use the same sword it, it took you it took you two arrows to knock that one upside down basically okay you and then what? two stabs there was two stabs could I stand on this tile right here yeah, yeah, you can stand there. You're just balancing okay. on the edge. Okay. The thing is, you'd be moving out of this guy's range, so you gotta That's get true. an opportunity attack against you. I kinda don't want that, because I wanna put on the marks or whatever. Hey. Okay. I have a whip. The whip is not metal, you know what? We're gonna try using the whip. Nay, nay. <laughs> Great. Yeah, Alright, so you're just gonna start. Alright, so Slayer's Prey moves from him to him, and you're just gonna start trying to whoop him? Yeah, I'm gonna whoop him. Alright, roll your, roll your whoop attack. Yeah, I'm with a good old Johnny test. Alright, so that yeah. is a hit and a miss. <laughs> oh, the double. Oh, no, no, no. Um, Bop. There you go. What was that top and one? That top one was Loishka. Oh, right. Okay. But I do have that. For the 12. Makes it a 15. Right, a okay. Hit. Yep. Nice. So, so you whip him twice, so that's 2d4 plus d6 plus uh, 16. 16. All right, there you go. That guy also gets whipped. Somehow the uh, the leather whip ends up cracking him in in such a way that it actually splits his shell, like a like a horrible factory accident involving steel <laughs> cables. <laughs> oh, fear the whip! <laughs> and uh, he's he's just sitting alive there with his shell all all opened up and his bug gut spilling out, just kicking and 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 looking at you angrily. Excellent. <laughs> now I'm gonna finish these guys off slowly next turn. Okay. Uh, is that it for Iskra? I also get look. I get the opportunity to text of try moving over here now. Uh, yeah. Okay. Just, just we'll against just that here. one guy, or just from that okay. one guy. So we'll just stay here for now. Okay. Uh, Wally. Okay. Here I am. Uh, uh, okay. 
So do y'all need help down here? No? Or it is? Uh, we're good, I'd say. I'm about to pop out there, so... Okay. Uh, maybe you could blast that. Okay, one, two, three... You better not let them eat my leg. <laughs> Your other leg? Oh shit, right, okay. Gun leg. Um... Alright, so... Frost, Ray of Frost, and, and... Yeah. Okay, targeting which one? Um... Who's got the leg? Yo, <laughs> let Le Loishka has the leg. None of them are munching on it right now. Le Loishka has not been hit. Okay, mm -hmm. good. All right, then I'll go for the bottom one. Okay, uh, so roll your attack roll. Sure. Okay, that's GG. actually a miss. So let me roll a whiz save. Uh, that's a success on the whiz save. Oh. I guess I'll just die. Um. Yeah, it sucks to fucking suck, I guess. Uh. Anything with Wiz? Wiz can't do much. Well, Wiz can fly Wait, around and scout. Yeah, it's true. But we're not even that far out yet, so. I'd rather keep him close. Okay. So he's gonna fly a little closer. Um, to me. But I was gonna say, it is a, a bonus action to. Oh no, you have you have the haste on. Never mind. Yeah, I can't do anything. Oh, uh, you you could theoretically you have uh, fire breath on Smalley, right? Yeah. I was gonna say um, it's a bonus action to fire breath if you want to get Wiz over, and then you could f use fire breath with Smalley on him. Uh, well, probably not fire breath, but something else. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, uh, nice. Dragon breath is what I meant. Yeah. Yeah, I figured. Um, hmm. I suppose I could get two of them concentrating a bit. Yeah, just we so that you can be efficient it. with your concentrations. Okay, sick. Um, what fucking kind of breath can I give him? Just uh, uh, any element in terms of the dragon elements. Zappy, icy, acid? Yeah, fire, ice, know? fire, ice, lightning, acid, poison. Ah, yeah. Uh, fire, okay. Um, I mean, cold, maybe? Okay. Do they seem like they're affected by cold? They are, they are bugs. Bugs usually uh, are not active in winter. I'm guessing they don't mind acid? Uh, unconfirmed. Logan sprayed that one in the face with acid, but it died before you could find out. Fuck. Okay, um. We got acid vials. We do. Yeah, we have, like, Wyvern Venom, that's Venom. That's Poison, yeah. Yeah, but I can't figure that out in my turn, so... I'm just gonna go with Ice. Okay. Wiz the Liz now has Ice Breath. Okay. We're gonna have high five, and then he's gonna come over here and spray a cone in this general direction to hit everyone. <laughs> what would happen if we coat our weapons in the repellent salve? In the what salve? The insect repellent salve. Nothing. It it's a it's based on smell. Also, these things aren't literally bugs. Do, do I do I attack roll? Yes. Uh yes. no, they need to make a dex save. So let me do that. Okay. Okay, so the top one fails, and the bottom one succeeds, so the bottom one takes half, top one takes full. Roll your 3d6, I believe it is. Uh, is it 3d6? I don't think it was... was it 3d6? Yes, it is. Wow, okay. 3d6. Got him. Okay, uh, so top one goes down, bottom one goes down. Yeah, you chill them both, and they oh. they freeze up and die. Excellent. Okay. Uh, so is that it for Wally's turn? Yep. Okay. In that case, uh, on to Yax.
Yeah. Get, get tasered. Okay, uh, so this one needs to make a con save. I'm just gonna move this over here, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Alright, so that one fails, so you can roll your full damage on it. You can also, like... Uh, let me Go actually ahead. check Moonbeam. I was wondering if you could move it, like, around... Moonbeam. You can use an action to move it up to 60 feet. Oh, okay, right. yeah, so it's, um, I don't think you can, I don't think you can, like, wiggle it back and forth. I think you just pick a direction and it moves in one direction. I mean, I can move it all the way over here. Yeah, you could do that. So I was just wondering if you could, if you could do, like, like, z oh, why are yeah. you snapping to corner? If you could, if I you could do yeah, something cheeky, like, like that. <laughs> And then, yeah, blah, 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 blah. No, I don't think you can do that. <laughs> I think I could get two of them. Yeah, you can you can laser it past two of them. So that one fails the save, and then... That one fails the save, so they both take 15. Okay. Uh, and then I will attack the one, two yaks's right. Uh, the one right in front of you? That one, yeah. Okay, so that's that's a hit. And 13 damage. And you got two more of those. Alright, that's another hit. And that one gets smashed apart, and you got one more attack. Alright, we'll just do the next one in line. Uh, the one right below or the one below diagonal? The one right below it. Okay, so that's a hit. Eight more damage. That one flips over and starts gurgling madly at you. All of the, uh, all of the... Absorbent, uh, sorry, all of the, uh, the dissolving juices are just on your halberd, not affecting it. I'm gonna have to wipe this thing off. <laughs> okay, um... Oh yeah, Pumpkin's gonna, like, climb to the bottom of the tree. Okay, yep, yeah, there you go. I like how... Yax right now is is an air raider. I was just gonna say like a lawnmower. <laughs> she's she's a lawnmower and an air raider. Like she's an air raider because she's she's basically directing pumpkin to fire the particle cannon in a certain direction. <laughs> yep. Oh, air raider. Yeah. Yes. Correct. Yeah, not not an air raider, an air raider. <laughs> She's not aerating anything. I mean, she might be. That's why I was confused. I was like, we're, we're out <laughs> in the open here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Alright, is that it for Yax? Yep. Okay, uh, Logan and Olivier. Logan's gonna continue moving up here. Moving up this way, seeing, seeing if he can position himself and get anywhere cool. And, uh, Olivier is now out of targets, so he's, he's just gonna come back here. Alright, um, Ards. Alright, I'm tumble, tumble jumping my way up. I'll jump up here and hit this wall. Okay. Well, oh. So you you start you start flipping around and then you use a psychic <laughs> blast of energy to shoot yourself upwards and then you hit a wall. Oh shit. While greasy. You're probably like as you as you fucking sonic spin up that wall, you're probably shooting butter in every direction. <laughs> and and oh, Loishka yeah. just, just sees this happen. I think she threw up a little in her mouth. <laughs> I'm the butter man. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> fucking Blast. Sonic the Hedgehog covered in butter. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna start blasting zone. this dude. Okay. 
All right. I'm left in time. The the twenty one. Oh, all right. That guy's absolutely demolished. <laughs> Hardbard's gonna sacred flame them, the other dude. Okay, uh, so makes that with disadvantage. Still makes the save. <laughs> he'll, he'll get it eventually. <laughs> One of these days. Yep. <laughs> All right. That so, it for uh, that it for Ards. We'll have Ardbard move right over here. Okay. And then let me scroll back to the imp. Where did I end last time? One, two, three, four, five, six. So, one, two, three, five, six. The imp just kind of goes in a circle and ends up here. <laughs> He'll find something eventually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> eventually. On a long enough timeline, well, <laughs> on a long enough timeline, he might just poke back out of the out of the same cave entrance <laughs> that he entered in. It's it's still something. <laughs> All right. Um. So Russ Monster is this one is is currently just sitting there gurgling at you. So are these two? This one manages to get back up. And is going to try to take a bite at his Chris feet. No. Uh, which it manages. Iskra gets munched for four damage. I got hit before too, right? Yeah. That was another four damage? Before? I think so. Okay, um, that's it for those ones. Uh, next up is Iskra. Okay. Well, I'm gonna just try and whip this one to oblivion, just end it. Okay. Kucha. That's a hit. Okay. And your minimum damage kills that one. Okay. Gonna move, put a Slayer's Prey on this guy now. Okay. And I'm gonna whip him too now. Okay. And RD4. yeah, do your do your bless. All right, that one dies too. <laughs> Eat shit. I'm gonna step over here. Just pick up crossbow. All right, there you go. You pick up Put your melty crossbow. Just pretty much stick it behind it with the melty sword. <laughs> yep. Just. Whoop. Okay. Uh, anything else? Uh, Loishka can't do much from here. What the heck can she do? Well, I guess I'll just skirt the, the outskirts and scout a bit. How far did Ardeus go when he saw those two? Uh, that building over there to the right. Yeah, but like, where were you standing around here? Yeah. Okay. Just gonna, yeah, go down to the bush over here. Okay. Um, anything else? Nope. That's it for them. Okay, Wally, you're up. Okay. Let. So let's see where we're at. Um. So this area is cleared out. This area is. In the works, we could probably start climbing up now. Um, yeah, the wallies are gonna inch forward a bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, or no, do I want to go there? Hold on, bitch. Hold on, motherfucker. Okay, so that's four. Yeah, I guess there's nothing in between. Like Isper's blocking, and then. Yeah, so we're gonna climb up here. It is 30 feet? Yes? Yep. Yes. Okay, so we can climb up. So okay. we're gonna get up here. Well, it's, uh, if here. it's if it's 30 feet, then you climb up 15. Uh, climbing takes double move. Okay, well that's fine. We still have enough. Oh, if you, we you dash. uh, right, you dash. 
Yeah, so... Well, wait, where did you of... where did you start? You started here, uh, yeah? I started over here, yeah. Yeah, so it was like, what, four? And then... Yeah, so you, you'd make it, um, like, not quite to the top. Not quite? Okay. I'm bad at maths. Okay, so we're on the ledge, and we're in the middle of climbing. And then Wiz is going to do a drive-by shooting. Um, Taking care of that one on the ground there. There's this one, and then there's this one. Who's having the most trouble between you two? Iskra and... Uh, to be honest, Act. neither of them. Both of these no, things are, are near death. I guess I can go and upset a bunch of new ones. Yeah, that works. Mm. Is it bonus action to do the, the breath, or no? Uh, it's an action to use the breath. Fuck. You can always scout around, like, the other buildings you haven't seen. Um, no, because I want to use spell. Okay. So I can't- okay, I can actually reach you. Yeah, these guys have a moon thing on that, and then there's only one guy on this, so we're, we're gonna- we're gonna skedaddle over here and organize this mofo. Okay. Um... Alright, he gets iced, and he dies. He had one hit point left. Okay, well, you're welcome. Thanks. Um... And yeah, cool. We're gonna probably end our turn over here, actually. Okay. Cool. Okay. Cool. And that's it. Um, Yax, you're up. Um, yeah, I am. Okay, uh, one second. Ah. Oh, you got rid of those guys. Okay, good. Oh. I don't know. Does Moonbeam work that way? Uh, work what way? This thing's a lot higher up. You can move it diagonally upwards. Okay, well, I'll hit this thing and then I'll do some math. Technically, the, the moon itself is 40 feet above the ground. Like, that's the origin of the beam and that's the part that you're moving. Yeah. I, I did, I, did I? 18 plus 8? Yeah, okay. Okay. It says I did D10 plus 7. Uh, you, yeah, wait, so you're just uh, slapping that dude with your halberd? The one on the ground? Yeah. Okay, it's gone. Um, okay, so this thing's 60 feet up. It, it's 40 feet high, and yeah, this is a 60 foot thing, so you would only need to move it, like, 25 feet upwards for it to be effective. Hang on. Hang on, I gotta do some math here. Uh, so we got 55 squares plus. Is 68 feet, so it's just short. If I want to move it up there, be to about, maybe about 10 feet short. So to about, we go to about there. Yeah, I, I guess we're gonna bounce around like an idiot. Go to about there. Okay, so you just move the moonbeam up there. These things uh, suddenly notice a, uh, a weird light in their faces. As they're, as they're having a... Basically, as they're having a snack, they see a fucking alien abduction beam appear in front of their faces. <laughs> um, okay, so to get to here is 60 feet. 
and make it like right behind this thing. No, 80 would be whatever 20 feet from there is. Yeah, we like right behind that thing. Okay, never okay. Mind. I'm an alien, and I've come to abduct you. <laughs> okay. Uh, Yex. Make me a dex save. Why did it type? Okay, uh, you, as you, uh, move up there, you feel the, the ground beneath your feet begin to... Um, begin to quiver and shake and shift and you just fall on your butt all of a sudden. Oh? Yep. Where do I fall on my butt? Like, right where you are. Oh. Why am I on my butt? What happened? Uh, the, the ground, um, quaking caused you to fall over. Suddenly, as soon as you set foot in this, uh, in this little tower, you felt the ground shift beneath your feet. Oh no. It's probably full of tunnels. Okay, is that it for Yax's turn? Can't do much else. Okay, mm Logan's still scouting around this side for things. Hiding, hiding in these bushes. And then Olivier is going to... Come over here and, and supervise the Wallies climbing up here. He's going to start making his way up his wall. Uh, Alright, and then... So suddenly, with the with the shift of the... Uh, of the of the mound... Um... Alright, so that's happening now. Alright, so... Um, yeah, Yex, you can, you can just feel massive vibrations under you, and those, those of you, uh, sitting on, on here, uh, also begin to, to feel, uh, tremors and whatnot. Actually, Wally and Smalley, you kind of get spooked, because as soon as you start climbing the mountain, the mountain starts shaking at you. Oh, well. Yeah, the, the vibrations aren't intense enough for the rest of you to need to make saves, but y'all, you all feel it. Starting to seriously shift. Um, and Ardeus, you're up. Alright, tumble time. I'm tumbling this way. I'm gonna stop at this and see if I can see within this hole. So, sliding across. Ardeus is gonna dash, dash ahead and fo follow along. Uh, okay, so Ardeus, you actually do see... You see something that looks like it's about to to come out of the hole. Like, it's it's scrambling to get out of the tunnel. Oh, <laughs> shit. Also, hey, Sass. Hi, Sass. Alright, uh... I still have, have some move left, I think. If I tumbled. I'm gonna... I'm gonna squeeze, squeeze over this way. Okay. I'm gonna tell Ardbard to come along with me. All right, we're gonna we're gonna chill by here. Did did it notice me like right away? <laughs> it 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 definitely spotted you for a for a second. <laughs> All right, I'm blasting him then <laughs> as I'm as I'm running away. Okay, so you 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 basically you come up to here, you blast, and then you run. Yeah, I come. Okay. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, blip blip. All right, uh, missing a hit. Um, 12. Cool. Alright, fellas. Another big boy here. I'll let everyone know. And Imp is gonna do, uh... He's gonna try to fly towards the source as hard as he can. <laughs> oh, yeah. The Imp is, uh... Um... <laughs> having a real bad time in there. Actually, make a, a deck save for the Imp. <laughs> Alright, Imp. Hold up. I need to open up Imp stats. Saved and whatnot. Uh, so 
deck save, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, no. Oh. Okay, well. <laughs> Uh, the imp takes five bludgeoning damage as the tunnel starts to collapse on him. Oh shit! It still is fine. It's fine. Okay, and it's now he's health, yeah, now he's just scrambling to to get out of there. So let's see where the tunnel ends up taking him, or does he just want to go backwards? <laughs> yeah, he's going straight into. The okay. Where the one, coming from. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So. And then. Oh, he ends up, like, right underneath Ardbar. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, is that it for Ards? There you go. Good for the boys. Okay, so, Yax, yeah, you see these, uh, these rust monsters here. Uh, they actually all need to make deck saves as well. I, uh, I missed one. So uh, one of them, one of them, uh, one of them ended up falling over and is is just scrambling around, kicking, not knowing what's going on. And the other two kind of panic, and uh, and they just they just run on out of here. Like they just they just run right past the axe. Okay, bye. And uh, and they actually just scramble down the cliffs. Are, are they are they like leaving or are they coming to fucking attack me? Uh, spoke a little bit both. of a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Something in there spooked them. One of them just flopped over, and the other two just fucking booked it out of there. Huh. Okay. Um, Iskra, you're up. And that's why you're all good. Pick up my weapons and stuff. Go over here. And put my hunter's mark on this one. Uh, on Just the one right in front of you? Yep. That's close to the wallies. Just adamantine bolts. Okay. That's a hit and a hit. Okay. R 2d8 plus 2d6 plus... We'll do 14 good... Yeah, 14, because he lost one point on the bow, right? Yeah, on the crossbow. So that's minus one to hit as well, but yeah. Okay, so... Oh. Once again, you leave him bloody and gurgling. He comes down the cliff, spooked at something, and then immediately runs into a goblin who shoots him twice in the face. Good. That's what you get. All right. Blame your friends. And then anything for Loishka? Loishka's just gonna still wander around the far side. Okay. So on this side, Loishka sees uh, a tunnel. Not only does she see a tunnel, but she sees something scrambling to get out of a tunnel. Oh shit, okay. Oh shit. So tunnel here. And uh, she sees... Uh, where the fuck is my layer thing? There it is. Fuck, is it time for me to climb up into... Oh, my shit. There. Oh, it's a big boy. Oh, no. <laughs> Where? Uh, down oh. south, near Loishka. So, yeah, Loishka near dashes Loishka. over and sees... Sees a, uh, a dude there oh. scrambling to get out of his tunnel. Bigu Bugu. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, I see him. Sh should I just shoot him? I guess you should just shoot him. Uh, okay. yeah, you uh, dashed as a bonus action, yeah? Fucking run. Oh, I mean, I, I dashed all the way, I can't dash back. Might as well just start trying to kill it sooner. Alright, so hit and a miss. Ah, uh, come on. Wish is not right. have a good day. You plink it with an arrow. Uh, I guess that's it for Loishka. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Wallies. Okay. 
Uh, so there's this guy still, yeah? Yeah, he's gurgling near death. Okay, I guess I can... Mm -hmm. Ray of Frost? Okay, so you just scramble up the hill and you attack with a ray. Can't I see him from the edge? Yeah, you don't, you don't oh, know. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, you can you can stand up on the edge, or you can just like be clinging to the ledge and and poke your finger over. Yeah, I guess I don't like commitment, so I'm gonna lay here for a bit. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, you can you can. All right, there you go. You you ice him. He's dead. Hit him with a good old smile on my finger. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey, Astral! Thank you for the raid. Hey, Astral. How's it going, Astral? I was Resident Evil. How you doing? Welcome into D&D. This guy. This guy's the deadest guy. What are you hitting him with? Told the dead. Okay, he hasn't taken any damage yet. Oh. Mm. You can still toll the dead, I mean, it'll just do D8 instead of D12. Yeah, sure. Okay. Oh, the bird scared you. <laughs> okay, he fails that save, so roll your 2d8 well, he, damage. Alright, 6 damage. Okay, and now we're gonna come in over here, and we're going to ice. Hello, other cryo. <laughs> other cryo. Alright, so he needs to make a dex save. Uh, which he fails, so roll your 3d6. Seven wow. more damage. Wiz, kind of pathetic. <laughs> he's doing. He's doing his best. His best is way lower so than you just, average. You just iced this guy from the air. Mm -hmm. Sitting over there. Anything else for your turn? Nah, we're good. Okay. We'll just out. Uh, the Hulks are gonna start hulking out. No shit. Uh, Iskra, you actually notice um, one comes scrambling out and into view. Oh. Yeah, let me let me actually just. You see him uh, scramble out of the out of the cave and start running on over this way. And you, you see his face just kind of around the corner there. Wait, no, he's coming here. I hate this. And uh, this one this one here sees uh, Loishka, who just shot at him, and is gonna come over here and try to try to eat Loishka. No. God. And then this one here is gonna try to eat Ardbar and Ardeus. No oh, fuck. All right, so Hulk's going to be making attacks. So first we have against Loishka. What's Loishka's AC? AC is 16. Okay. Uh, so that's two hits against Loishka. Oh god. This thing misses oh, with no. its with its mandibles but gets it with uh, gets her with claws. For a total of 20 damage. And then, <laughs> uh, Ardbar, same deal. Uh, actually, let me quickly... Okay, so, uh, Ardbar. What's your yeah. AC? Seven, 17, 19, 19. Okay, 19, so he... he yep, misses Ardbar, and then against Ardeus... 25. Uh, that's, that's a hit. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's a hit. No, okay. I used shield that that big. Uh, So 11 damage against Ardeus, so split that up. Okay. Ar and Ardeus is going to take the brunt of that, so 6-5. I'll do it. Second attack, 27. On Ardeus or Ardbar? On, uh, on Ardeus. Okay, For a total okay, of 18 damage. Wah. Uh, good thing Ardbar's here to tank half yeah, of that. Yeah, to, to, to absorb half of that. <laughs> Speaking of, uh, Ardbar, give me a concentration check. 
Okay, can't save the plus five here. But 19. Okay, he's fine. Oh, massive damage. <laughs> Good thing warding bond itself is not concentration, otherwise it would get broken <laughs> really easy. Yeah, I, I just... But I can't, like, turn it off unless I run away from Lord Bond. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, this guy... These guys just come out and start eating you. That's it for their turn. Yax, you're up. Yax is currently prone. It's a move action to get up and prone? Uh, it's half your movement. Okay, well, we'll start with this one. Okay, so you just laser that guy, so he needs to make a con save. Uh, which he succeeds, so he takes half damage from the beam. Roll your beam damage. 12. Okay, so he takes 6. So you just zap that guy a little. Also, I'm going to rule that while you're hasted, the... Um, Getting up is only using half of your, like, regular movement rather than half your hasted movement, so it's only going to use 15 feet for you. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It gets me to this guy either way. Oh, okay, you're just jumping on that guy? Yeah. Okay. I rolled a d10. Hang on. Uh, yeah, it's still a miss. Do you want a reckless? No, but I have another attack. Yeah, you have two more attacks. Yeah, it doesn't matter. There we go. Okay, there's a hit. Thirteen. And your last one. That's a miss. It's amazing. Okay, so you smack that guy once. He's He's flipped over. He's not having a good time. All right. Um, anything else? No. Uh, is there anything else I can do? Uh, keep in mind that Pumpkin can still cast spells while Moonbeam is active. Right. Um, she uses the action to move the beam, but if she wants to like just keep it concentrated on one spot, then she can still like cast other spells. Um, well, she's already moved it this okay. turn, so I'll have to I'll have to move Yak, so uh, pumpkin, which I've been forgetting to do again. Okay, pumpkin moving up. Yeah, I don't know. Whenever you feel yourself saying, "Is that all you want to do this turn?" Ask me if I've moved pumpkin, because I forget to do that. Okay. It's gonna move up to keep casting this spell. Okay. Uh, in that case, Logan and Olivier, um, Logan comes out to here, peeks around the side of the tree here, and spots another, uh, one of these guys coming out of a tunnel here. This time the tunnel is right here. What's this music from? Uh, this is Monster Hunter. Male. Yeah, so he sees a he sees a guy uh, coming out here, just coming out from his tunnel. Logan spots him, but he's he's in hiding. Hey, Havoc, how's it going? So yeah, Logan's gonna 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 look over towards uh, towards Pumpkin and signal that there's a bogey over here. <laughs> Uh, and then Olivier, uh, makes it up the rest of the climb. He's, uh, he's kind of standing on the ledge above these two. You can, you can grab onto Olivier to p help pull yourself up. If you need. Uh, but mostly he's positioned here so that the, the bugs look at him and not the wallies. Uh, and then... Uh, Yax, make me another deck save. Uh, 
You make those with advantage, by the way. That's right, because you're hasted. Sarah? Hello? Oh, man. Did Sarah say she was going to be RB? I didn't, I didn't hear. I didn't catch her. She did. Uh, I guess she, I guess she BRB'd. Okay, we'll, we'll come back to that, I guess. Um, ty ty type something if you're here and we can't hear you. No, you know what? I see your mic activating. She's BRB. Um... Okay, in that case, uh, I'll tell her what happens when she gets back. Ards, it's your turn. Alright. Can I... Can I squeeze under this guy's legs? <laughs> uh... Hard to if you tumble, then yeah. Sure, I'll do that. I'll, t I'll tumble squeeze behind this guy. Yeah. The, uh, the tumble butter technique. Tumble butter. <laughs> Make him feel really uncomfortable. Yep. While I do it. Oh no. Alright, <laughs> so you tumble butter that guy. And I'm gonna blast him straight away. Okay. Blast him in the butt. Go for it. Blip, blip. Uh, oh, that's two misses. Oh, uh, roll your bless. Oh, you already have that included. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's two misses. Shit. Uh, and I forgot to ask like a while back, but the stats for Electro Staff, what were they again? What, what's the damage for it? And the spell? Oh, uh... For the one that you got from the Fish Cleric? Yeah. The one Arbard's using. It's a... Uh, it's a quarter staff, and then you use a spell slot to deal d6 uh, lightning damage with it. Okay. Per, per spell I'll slot used. Okay, we'll do that then. And uh, it counts as be... uh, it counts as a magic plus one staff, I think. All right. It's gonna be uh, two d six. Uh, using a um a second level spell slot. All right, it's just gonna be one d six. If I use, if if I like whack him with this thing, right? Yeah, if you if you just hit him, uh, one handed it's d six, two handed it's d eight. Uh, okay. It's gonna be one hit then. Okay, and, so just uh, hit him with the stick. You gonna use any spell slots? Actually, you can you can decide um you can decide after you figure out if you hit. Ah, uh, oh wait, so it's after the hit? Yeah, so it's it's uh, on hit you can decide. Hey Fizzy, how's it going? Okay. How are you doing there? So I'll I'll whack him first with a uh, a regular hit. We're gonna get old hit. Okay, hey, go for Benji. it. But, ah, shit. Yeah, that's, that's a miss. <laughs> you try to hit him with a stick. The stick does not hit. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> Alright, and, uh... Imp is gonna continue his his quest. Oh, okay. Make me, yeah, uh, make me a deck save with the Imp. <laughs> oh, Sarah, are you back? I'm back. Okay, roll me another deck save. Uh, you have advantage on this, because you are hasted. Sorry, I went to the amp. Sorry, I went to the bathroom. Okay, so Yax remains standing, but she feels tremors under her again, and uh, the imp rolls really? a 21 on the deck save, so he's fine, he doesn't take any damage. Let me scroll back up to all my fours. You know what, I, I'm just gonna roll new fours every time. I think that'd be for the rest. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be way easier. Oh, okay. Uh... The imp ends up all the way up here. Shit, he's getting there, guys. <laughs> Toward the middle, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you have a good lurk and work, Fizzy. Hope you're having a good weekend. Ah, I should have given him a sticky bomb or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, is that it for Ards? Yep. Okay, this this Ruts monster here is just gonna try to take a bite out of uh, out of Ardbar. Okay, he critically bites oh, Ardbar. Shit. 
Bite them in the butt. Yep. <laughs> Didn't even see it coming. Hard bar takes nine damage. Uh, oh, make a concentration check. All right, concentrating really hard. It did. Mmm, secret soup. Okay, he's fine for the concentration, but yeah, he's got two bugs biting him. <laughs> two big bug bites. Got him right, right, like the butt cheek. <laughs> he didn't expect it at all. <laughs> uh. Okay, uh, Iskra, you're up. Who oh boy? Um. How fast can these big boys move? We haven't seen them. Yeah, well, you, you haven't seen them run yet. Oh, boy. <laughs> they, they look rather lumbering, though. They don't look like the small ones where they can just jet. Oh, I mean, you have the umber from lumber. <laughs> okay. I can see from around there, right? See, uh, see this guy? The one down below. Oh, That's the on one. Moisha. Oh, uh, yes. You can see, like, the tip of his head. Okay. Will I have disadvantage if I start shooting at him? Uh, no. He's, he's large enough and he's out in the open, so. Okay, that's all I need to know. Things are going okay. Always, always good to be doing more D's and D's. I'm gonna zoom on over there. I'm gonna warn the kiddos and Minotaur that, like, you got a big boy coming there. Yeah, you got a big boy coming in from the north. Yep. I'll be back. I'll help out. <laughs> Let me just... Better right. Better. That was a bonus action to dash, right? Uh, on Iskra? Yeah, you have the moccasins on, so... God damn it, so I got about my thing on. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna take a chance with this. Just gonna it's shoot him? Time. Oh, it's ray gun time. Alright, yeah, fire your ray gun. I'm gonna do the highest charge I can do. Okay, level 3 charge ray gun. Let's go. 3d6 plus... And this will just be... It's a ranged attack, so it's got all your pluses on it. It's, got it's your, only one shot, your, right? Sorry, yeah, it's only one shot. It takes the full round to fire. Okay, that's what I thought. So it's not going to have the other things. So it'd be... Uh... Hmm, pardon? Eight? It, it should be Eight. plus nine, right? Plus nine? Yeah, because you have your archery style, don't you? Plus two to hit on ranged attacks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Four dex, was, three proficiency, was, yeah. two archery. Four, three, two, nine. Yeah, I was just about to... Alright, that's a hit. Roll your 3d6 plus uh, 6 radiant... Sorry, 3d6 plus 8 radiant damage. Nice. 15. <laughs> Alright, so you fry the guy for 15 damage. You uh, you blast him with a with a futuristic laser gun. <laughs> you are now shooting... This is, this is the EDF mission. This is straight up the EDF mission. Just shooting bugs <laughs> with lasers and fucking particle cannons. And then Yax, no. Yax literally has the fucking, <laughs> Yax has the pile driver. <laughs> this is straight EDF. Excellent. Does the pile driver have any metal on it? That's why I haven't used it. It is, but it's like crazy future metal. So like they can't burn through it then. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know that. I'm just like, oh, I don't want them to eat this. Yeah. Hey, Deso. Okay. Uh, okay. And... Loish is gonna disengage okay. and just... Disengage and just fucking run as far away as she can. So, like, bonus action, <laughs> disengage, action, dash, and then full move. Pretty much. Okay. It's a, it's a really good game, Fizzy. Uh, six is, I think... I think six is out in Japan, so we'll see when we get six. That was quick. Well, 5 has been out in Japan for years. It just takes us a while to get them. Like, 5 came out on the Vita. Oh. Ah, yes, the Vita. Uh, I think that's all I can do. Okay. Yeah, that's all I can do right now. Alright, um... If that's it for Iskra, then we got Wallies. Wallies are up. Alright, let's go. Um, 
What big boys can I see? I can see this guy. Yes? Yeah, you can see the rust monster and the umber hulk behind him. Oh fuck. If you're just okay. if you're just poking if you're just on the cliff there. The cliff doesn't have any grass on it, does it? Nope. Oh fuck yeah. Okay, you know what time it is. <laughs> is it fireball time? It might be. <laughs> I can Gotta do make it. A... I was I gonna like say if it's if it's um if you're only using it on one target, blight is is more damage, but one more spell slot. Um, you right. Um but it's but I want emergency uh Yeah, emergency wizard. big whiz. Yeah, so yeah. I don't have enough level four slots yet for that. Therefore, therefore, I guess I could probably roast him. I need something that's like single target more damage. But for now, fireball will do. Okay, fireball that mofo. Okay, um, so I assume you're placing it somewhere over here so that you don't hit any of your friends. Uh, oh, I was gonna go for this top one because. Oh, the top right. one. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, I was I was tunnel visioned on the ones on Ardbar. Okay, so you just lob a fireball over at this guy, so he needs yeah. to make a deck save. Uh, do you want to use a portent on that, or do you want to let him roll? I mean, my portent, my lowest portent was a thirteen. So. Okay, so let him roll. Yeah, I guess. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> your roll's a one. Alright, roll oh, your shit. fireball damage. Fuck yeah, I'm so hard. Okay, that's 8d6. Nice. Oh, uh, 8d6. Almost rolled a d20. Alright. Um, he takes on, 24 fire damage. Okay, good enough. And Ray of Frost slows them down, yeah? Yep. Okay, let's slow this mofo down. Or let's try it, rather. Is our bar okay? Our bar's <laughs> fine. He's at, uh... Uh, one-third. Wish <laughs> <laughs> is at half. <laughs> but our bar's fine. Uh, our, our, our day is just need to do his horn a bit, and it'll be fine. Oh, okay. Uh, you got a square there to like. Uh, Eleven is to, like, a miss. Yeah. Well. Also, okay. uh, Smalley doesn't actually have like a clear line of sight on him. There's there's yeah. walls in the way. Okay. Well, um, we're going to we're going to go for this guy with Wiz then. Okay. Hey Mizu, how's it going? Hi. Cool. Alright, so you're using your Ice Breath on the Rust Monster? Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay, he fails. Roll your 3d6. Alright. You freeze him. You don't quite kill him, but he... He, uh, he definitely did not like that, and he flops over. Okay, what? Just kind of just kicking his legs, which all stiffen. All right, have a good lurk, Fizzy. Yeah. Okay, and that's my turn. Okay, cool. Uh, next up is the bugs, the big bugs, big big bugu bugu. Uh, so yeah, this one's this one's just gonna try to have a try to have a run at Loishka. He just uh, he just comes on he just comes on up and he's he's chasing her. Okay, you can't catch up to her, that's good. That's all that matters. Uh, Loishka. Give me a yes. deck save. Oh god. Oh fuck. <laughs> that's a spit. Uh... Loishka... Seven, okay. So we thought. Ugh! Alright, Loishka, you take 35 acid damage. Holy! Uh, that's a lot. 
Is she dead? No, she's KO'd. Oh god. What did I do? What did I do? I hit something. That's, I hit F11, that's what I did. Okay. Okay, not okay. <laughs> what did you take 35 acid damage from? Uh, the giant bug sprayed her with acid as it was chasing her. He got yeah. two weights, two six, a four, and a three. Yeah, he he rolled very, very high damage. Loishka, Loishka gets melted. Loishka gets KO'd. Loishka needs to make a death save on her next turn. Okay. Uh, where is Loishka? Loishka is all the way down here. Oh boy. <laughs> Throw some yogurt on oh. it. Throw some yogurt on it. Yep, the base will nullify the, uh, the acid. Alright, and then the other one is going no, to just try and... Hit. No, milk is basic. No, I looked this up the other day. Is it? Oh, I thought milk was basic. It's like literally... Uh, milk has a pH of six and a half. Oh. It's got distra distracted with, like, uh, metals or something. <laughs> <laughs> Distract with metals. These aren't the rust monsters. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, but yeah, the other one is gonna try to attack Ardbar. Fuck. Oh, Oof. okay. Well... Poor, poor Ardbar. <laughs> uh, yeah, poor, poor, poor Ard- Poor sidekicks! Well, will Ardbar die this time? Let's see. <laughs> Ardbar takes 37. Okay, he doesn't die. He, uh, he's KO'd. He is knocked out, though, yep. Yep. So, two of these two of these sidekicks are now knocked out. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to bed. You're going to bed? It's, uh, take, take your turn and then go to bed. It's your turn right now. Okay. Right, we've lost our bless fellows. Yep, the bless is now down. Have, no longer have the bless in your bar bar. <laughs> no, I don't think lesser restoration would help these guys, would it? No. You you need to recover like at least one hit point on them. <sighs> Jax has potions. Fuck, I'm still like Well this is going over here. Um Okay, uh, so that guy needs to make a con save. Uh, he makes it, so he takes half. Roll your 2d10. Okay, takes four. Um, make sure to move pumpkin. Mm She's actually gonna go towards. The... Is this guy running away? Uh, which guy? This guy. Uh, that guy's running towards Loishka. Oh dear. He just ran after her and sprayed her with acid. Um. And and Ardbar is also down. Ardbar is also okay. down. Can you split up your attacks? Uh, yeah. Okay, um... This guy's just gurgling on the ground anyway, so... Yeah. Right? Yep. Oh. That guy's, like, near death. Just there having a bad time, getting knocked over a bunch. I wonder how much of a bad idea it would be to just, like, jump on this thing. How's our Deus doing? Our Deus is fine. He's at half. And at 20, 23. But our Deus is slippery boy. He's like a very fast tank. I don't- I mean, has this thing taken damage? This the, one? uh, the Umber <laughs> no. Hulk? Yeah, it's taken yeah. 12. 
Oh, did I have it? Yeah, you blasted it. Oh, right, the first blast. I forgot. I kind of want to, like, just jump on it, but I also don't want to take fucking, like, 40 10 from falling. <laughs> I could climb down and attack it. Uh, if you fall on something, it takes half the damage. Oh? So, like, it absorbs some of your falling damage. Can I do, like, a controlled fall? Uh, you're hasted, so you would make a dex save. And plus you're raging, so you have a resistance to bludgeoning anyway. Okay, fucking angry cat go. Alright, <laughs> uh, so make me a dex save with advantage. For okay. fuck's sakes! Um... Mm. Alright, so that's one... Okay, so that's 46 split between the two of you. Okay, so you you actually don't take a lot. You, you only end up taking three from the fall, and then this guy takes six. Can I also stab it? Yeah. Yeah, you can stab it three times, in fact. Or you could, like, even use your fucking pile driver, and then... Like, you could fucking, like, mid-air pile drive this thing, and then just, oh, like, shit. halberd it twice. <laughs> sure, I don't know what the roll on the pile driver is. Uh, plus it's... seven to hit. Yeah. And you can reckless if you want. Yeah, I'll reckless this one. I guess I'm. No, I, these things have been like murderizing people. I don't want to reckless it. Dude, I'll just hit it. Okay, fucking. Okay, yeah, so 46. Yeah, 46 plus 6. 22. Alright. And then you got two halberd attacks. That's a hit. And a miss. Okay, so this thing is now from 12 damage, it's at 48, so you did 36 damage total. Oh, uh, Christine is letting your dog pumpkin out. I want to send to go help Loishka, but I also don't want to lose pumpkin. <laughs> oh, all the fun kicks down. <laughs> Oh no. I mean, Wally's okay. That's Molly's fine where he is, I think. He's fine. Oh. We'll get Pumpkin over there at least. She can't go very fast as it is. I mean, I don't know if these things climb or not. Alright, get going, I'm tired. Yeah, we don't wanna we don't wanna lose Pumpkin the Raccoon or Loishka the three eighth ling. Well how fast do these things move? Uh they they lumber. They only appear to move as fast as a person. Okay. It's mostly the acid. Where's Logan? Let me enter that stuff forward. Uh Logan was was moving up there. He spotted another one, he's hiding behind that tree there. Oh, there he is. Alright. Let's, let's go, guys. Uh, so Pumpkin's just staying there? Pumpkin can't move any further than okay. that. Oh, okay. Okay, then. Actually move the moonbeam, so... Okay, uh, in that case, uh, Yax, you are freed from duty. Oh, well, I'm gonna stick around now, just maybe a little bit longer. Okay. <laughs> Uh, in that case, Logan is going to immediately turn around and begin running down this way. <laughs> he's going to he's going to run run over to help as as far as his little gnome legs could could take him. Well, he's not his goat either, right? Uh nope, his goat is down below. Yeah, so I thought cuz had to climb the thing. Yeah, you had to rope yourselves up here a long ass way. Uh, and then Olivier is going to dash over. Oh yeah, no, he's gotta he's gotta protect. So 
He's going to hide behind this wall and get ready to huck some javelins at this guy if he gets closer. Just staying, uh, staying in between the wallies in danger at the moment. And then Ardeus, you, uh, you notice something behind you. Oh, fuck. You have me here to my right. Oh, shit. Oh, what the hell Something is that? emerges from the, from the mountain. A large, three-armed, three-legged, one-mouthed, one-eyed creature. Just, oh. Is that so a monster an aberration? Uh, neither. That's an elemental. Uh. And yes, that's a Zorn. All right, that's Bogey. <laughs> okay. Damn. Uh, Ardeus, it's your turn. All right, I'm gonna focus on the thing in front of me before I'm <laughs> getting diddled behind. Uh, I'm gonna do my horn, heal up Ardbar. Okay, Ardbar bonus action gets healed for D4 plus uh, oh, charisma. Good. Yeah, healing. Wow, what the fuck is that? Oh, Something uh, stupid. make a... Oh, right, you know what? The death saves reset every time, don't they? So, it's fine. Yeah, alright. So, Ardbar goes to 4 HP. He's alive. No! What? What is that thing? It's a big Zorn. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Ew, I hate it. Cool. And, uh, I'm gonna blast at this guy's butt right over here. Alright, roll him. I leave to take my dog out for, like, <laughs> ten minutes. And I come back to this fucker. Alright, All right, that's a hit and a miss. Yeah. But, 11. No, okay. And I'm gonna start uh, sliding my way around here. I'm gonna grip onto this wall. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, onto the pillar. I... Yeah. That would be an opportunity to give you slid across that guy. Okay, uh, let's see. What do I want to do? You just move diagonal. You don't need to move like along lines. Like, <laughs> go here. I, I, I'm thing. gonna. I'm gonna. All right. Kind of yeah. Just slide around there. Up. Okay. Yeah. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do yeah, that. Yeah. Just. Just try not to get in his like aggro space. <laughs> I'll do exactly that. I'm gonna hit this wall. Okay. That's, that's what I'll do. Blip, blip, blip. And that'll be my turn. Okay. Um, next up is the rust monsters who are just gurgling and dying, so they they don't really have anything to do. Um, Iskra, you're up. Make a death save for Loishka. Uh, how do I do death saves? Uh, just roll me a d10. Or, sorry, not a d10, a d20. Okay. That's a success? Yep, that's a success. Okay, cool. This is gonna get better view of this asshole. Get her adamantine bolts. Or should I just go for another... No, let's go for adamantine bolts for now. Yeah, yeah. Hunter's Mark. Okay. I see there's a bigger boy. I kind of want to use my Fury of the Small, but this guy took down my girl. That ain't right. Murder him. All right, do it. Uh, so a twenty-four is a hit and a seventeen is a miss. Oh, okay. D four. Also, yeah, you do do not have the bless anymore. Oh, I don't. Because Ardbar went down. Yeah. Uh. Damn it. I'm gonna keep bringing him that up every time he comes <laughs> down. Yeah, just our our Deus out here duding people to keep them off of Death's door. <laughs> Just the fucking Vestal <laughs> healing the entire party for one. Okay. Uh. Damn. So I, do I want to shoot with a bolt or with a ray gun then? Well, you you hit already, so you hit him with the bolt. Yeah. It's already too late. I already said so. Okay. So yeah, roll your um. It's D eight plus D six plus fifteen, I believe. If you're using Fury of the Small? Well, 15's pro, like, I get a level for each, or a damage for each yeah, level. Yeah, so it's to be. 7 plus 8. He's a monstrosity, though, right? Yeah, that's, which is why it's 8 and not plus 4. 
All right, I got one shot. Eight. And yeah, yeah you're right. D8, D6, plus 15. Yeah. Okay. All right, 25 damage. He's now taken 45 total. How hard is he? Uh, he didn't like it. He's focused on you now. I flip him off and just kind of... No, I stand my ground. Screw this guy. Okay. <laughs> stand my ground over here. Okay. Uh... Hmm. Or do I want to jump down? That's risky business, though. Hmm. My armor is only poison resist, right? Yeah, it's not acid resistant. Darn. Oh wait, our warding bond is off now. Yep. Damn. Okay, so I think that's all you can do, Iskra. Yeah. So we'll move on to Wally. Sure. Uh, there's still a guy coming from up top, yeah. Yeah, this this that. guy's this guy's moving south. He's also slowed from the ray of frost. Okay, well let's continue. We're gonna advance a little bit. We're also gonna switch places. Okay. Um, ray of frost again. Okay, on the top guy. Yep. All right, roll your attack. Fourteen is a miss. What? Okay, well that's lame. Um. Is everything under control over to the right? Uh, Yax is uh, sitting on that guy, Ardbar is sitting on the ground. Okay, well I guess this little guy's probably gotta go. The little is guy has, like, it? one hit point. Okay, well I can- I can spare a, uh, magic missile. Okay, yeah, just send one oh. missile his way and, like, two somewhere else. Yeah, two- to the top one, maybe. Okay. In that case, this guy gets deleted. Uh, then I'll, then I'll do 2d... Yeah, 2d4 four plus, plus two. two. Alright, you Gee. plink that guy. Kind of a pathetic plink, guys. Come on, step it up. Alright, and um, anything with whiz? Yeah, I'm thinking. Yeah, this mofo didn't get it. Okay. Yeah, okay. let's let's do that guy. Drive up. drive by breathing. Yeah. Okay. Uh he fails the save. Roll your full damage. Three D six? Yep. Yeah. Twelve. Alright, you've taken all these guys are at like forty five damage. Oh. Forty five. Well that guy's at fifty nine, and then the bottom guy's at forty five. Amazing. Okay, uh, is that it for Wally's? Yep. Okay, this guy starts lumbering down. He actually needs to take uh, moonbeam damage, so he's going to roll a con save. Alright, Sarah, roll your moonbeam. Yes. Okay, he takes another six. And he starts lumbering down slowly because he is under the effects of Ray of Frost. When he gets in range, Olivier pops out and throws a couple javelins at him. Uh, both, both ricochet off of his shell. Olivier backs up and stands his ground next to Wally. Okay, um... And... the other hulks. Uh, this hulk moves over here and starts trying to climb up the cliff to get at Iskra. And then this one here is going to try and grab Yax off of its head. So, Yax, make a... make an athletics check with advantage. Uh, you have advantage. 
from uh, from your rage. Honk, honk. Okay, so uh, yeah, this thing manages to grab you. You are now grappled by this creature, and it's holding you in front of its face. Right now, it's gonna bar fast it on me. Okay. Um. Or I could stab it in its face. You could do that. Um. Actually, this is the last turn that you can do I that. Let's try again. Oh. <laughs> As always, Missy has insane timing. No, I, I, I think it's hooked for a gamble. I have vials of acid in my inventory. Yeah. Use it. Am I gonna run out of rage this turn? Uh, no, it's that you're gonna run out of haste. This is the, your last turn of haste. Great. Uh. And then I can recast it. Yes, though Yax will take one turn to be sleepy. Yeah. Uh, speaking of Yax, it is it is currently your turn. This is Does your... that mean my my butter brother is almost over too? It's yes. one minute, right? Yep. Okay. So uh, yeah. yeah, everybody's buffs need to refresh. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna if it's if it's dangling me in front of its face, I guess I'm gonna stab it in the face then. All right. You gonna halberd it or you gonna pile driver it? Well, I didn't have time to rewind the You uh, You have haste. You have that bonus um, oh, yeah. interaction if you want. So you can you can pile driver it right now if you want. Fuck did yeah, she... okay, let's do it. Uh... Did she even use a pile driver to begin with? Yeah, she used it um, when she plummeted oh, yeah, onto him. Yeah. Right. Alright, uh, so you blast him for 16 damage. Do you want to use the blast back ability? Sure. Okay, he he stands his ground. You don't you don't knock yourself free of the grapple. Oh, I was hoping yeah. to break his neck, but okay. <laughs> so do you want to use the pile driver uh, again, or do you actually no wait? You crank it and then use it, so you can use the halberd now. I can I can use the halberd, or I can yeah sure. Seems odd, just like randomly switching weapons all the time. Uh, it's mostly you can do this because you're hasted. Okay, so that's another 10, so 29. Alright, this thing, um, this thing actually releases you from the grapple from getting hit so hard. Also, they just got the honey from your cats. Nice. Yeah, so this thing comes here, and then you can land there safely. And, uh, yeah, this thing stumbles to its knees. It looks like it's pretty close to death. Uh, Pumpkin. Pumpkin's gonna cast, um, Ice Knife. Uh, targeting this guy here? Targeting that guy there. Okay, what's the range of Ice Knife? Is that 90 or is that 60? Oh, it's 60. Never mind. Shit, okay, I Also, I guess, uh, where does she want to move the Moonbeam? If she wants to move that instead. We'll just move it on top of this guy again, then. Okay, uh, so he needs to make a save against it. Alright, he fails. Roll your 2d10. Okay. And, uh, can Pumpkin move anywhere else? Well, this thing's climbing up the cliff now, Yeah, it's right? climbing up the cliff to get a Iskra. Well, I think once it's up the cliff, she wants to go check on Loishka. Okay. So does she just want to, like, move from bush to bush hiding? I, I mean, yeah, I've already moved her about oh, okay. two feet. Okay. Just so she could see around the corner. Alright, in that case, is that it for Yax? I guess, yeah. Okay. 
Logan and Olivier. Logan's gonna dash down. <sighs> try to try to come up and he's he's here now. He's running towards Iskra. Or not Iskra, but Loishka. Oh wait, can I get out my shield at the end of my turn? Uh who, Yax? Yeah. Uh I'd say you since you attacked with two different weapons, that's all your interactions. Okay. Worth asking. Yep. Yeah. Um not that the not that this thing is probably gonna survive until your next turn. Uh, Olivier is going to continue throwing javelins. Uh, one of which is going to hit. For a total of seven. Just standing here with his shield out, plinking this guy. Slowly whittling him down. Uh, and then this, uh, this big thing moves over. Oh. This, uh, this big guy comes down here. And oh, uh, picks oh. up this insect and eats its head, and then the rest of it. So, okay. <laughs> Alright, we're bolting it, fellas. Holy shit, I hate this. <laughs> Just, okay. Let's, Didn't expect it to move that fast. Let's, let's, let's make a wrong board. <laughs> There's oh, a circle God. around here, try to blink at him. Oh, book it smoking indeed. Holy shit. Yeah, that's that's what that guy does. Just just picks up that insect and eats it. Um, Ards, you're up. All right, uh, Ardbard bluffing the three usual fellas. Okay. <laughs> and uh, oh god, he's gonna uh, mouth. Say good flames, this dude, the big dude. Okay. Do we uh have a tangler grenade still? Yeah, I'm sure. I have a sticky grenade. Excellent. Yeah. Let's fucking go. We have a tangler grenade too. Alright, so uh I'll toss my sticky grenade at that dude. I'll lob it over the wall. Alright. Uh well the you mm, Yeah, I guess yeah, this thing is, is tall enough that you can see it over the wall. Alright, his sticky fellas. Uh, you I'll need to my... roll an attack roll to hit with it. Oh, okay. Hold up. Attack. Uh, what should I use? Uh, it's, uh, it's a dex roll. So just, that's... uh, just straight dex, no proficiency. Uh, straight, straight dex? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so you attach the sticky bomb to this thing. Okay, fellas. Uh, and that's an action, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'll go right over here. And uh, from over here, can I see uh, Loishka? Uh, yes. Alright, I'm doing my horn. Alright, you do your horn. It... Five. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Right, I could do one more horn, dude. Or I could still do a lot. I forgot I have warlock levels and level two spells <laughs> that I haven't touched yet. All right, so Loishka uh, is stable. Thanks, Grease Man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, right, Yax is gonna be Yax's haste runs out. Brother Butter runs out. Okay, good. I could finally start climbing stuff regularly yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, things are right there too. Uh, is that it for Ards? Uh, Imp. Still exploring, uh, oh, Ardbar's right, start. yeah. Uh, Imp actually no longer needs to make deck saves. Oh. Uh, Ardbar's gonna go right over here. <laughs> Imp actually ends up just going down one space after all said and done. <laughs> okay, and Ardbar just runs over there. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, next up is Logan and Olivier. Wait, that doesn't make sense. No, the rust monster. Why did I, what did I think that? It just, it just gets up. It looks around. Nobody's around it anymore. It is confused. <laughs> it's too um, ugly. Iskra, you're up. Okay. Slayers pray this boy first. Okay. I want him dead. Okay. 
do two more ranged attacks. Okay, so you're just looking down at him shooting. So there's yep. a hit, and there's a hit. 2d8 plus 3d6. That's an equal. Plus... 14. Yeah, 14. Uh, 16. But the bow took the one. Oh, right, it has minus one. Right. Oh, that's so ass. Alright, 24 damage. Oh, it's so bad, why? He's now at 69. Nice. Uh, Alicia's just gonna... I'm just gonna this... get up and crawl away. Keep in mind she's prone right now. Oh. So she can only go half, right? Yeah. Even with the dash? Well, no, with, with a dash, she, um... Like, so you would use half your move to get up, then you use the dash action, or bonus action, and then you can move uh, 1.5 times speed, basically. Okay, so it'd be 5, and then... 7.5, basically? Yeah, she moves 25 normally, right? Yeah. So she would be able to move, like, 45. If she, uh, dashed. So she just runs into the bush. Okay, that's fine with me. Okay. Can I'm still gonna shoot at it with her. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. One hit. Uh, yeah. Uh, R slash. Oops. I meant slash R. Okay, seven damage. Okay. She's pretty much safe. I'm just gonna get Iskra to join right there. Yeah, just whoop. like that pretty much. Okay. Okay, is that it for your turn? That'll be it for my turn, yes. Okay, Wally, you're up. Okay, I'm fucking nervous. Um, so this guy's just gonna go around eating all of these ones, yes? Uh, roll insight. Um, oh yeah, it's plus five. Okay. Well, uh, you're pretty sure it's more interested in eating the bugs than you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we, I we, haven't, we haven't struck it yet, so let's just yeah. uh, keep is our it? distance. <laughs> I was gonna say, are you sure... Uh, roll Arcana. Are you sure, Arugi, uh, that Ardeus wants to keep his distance right now? Because what happens when Arugi, or when Ardeus gets more than 60 feet away from him? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to be buffing my or uh, stacking my things onto to him in a within sixty feet. <laughs> stacking my hex, my hex blades, curse, just everything I can. And then the moment when we attack, I'm blasting him all, all with everything I got. Okay, what are? Uh, okay, so this this thing is a Zorn. It is uh, an elemental. Okay. Uh, it's uh, it's a kind of earth elemental. Um, these things are. Sorry, one moment. Let me just pull up my lore page on this guy. Five e tools loading slow. Okay, so uh, these things uh, tunnel through. Um, tunnel through the ground, eating eating ore veins. Naturally, they're uh, they're kind of like rock spirits and uh, and whatnot. Um, but one one habit that these things have is that if they if they burrow through on their natural paths and end up finding a dungeon, what these guys can sometimes do is just eat 
eat their way through an entire dungeon, including all its treasures and whatnot. And so, um, there are, uh, like, super powerful uh, legendary wizards who, uh, if they ever want to go dungeoneering, they actually use one of these guys as a servant. They summon them and get them to eat up all the treasure and then come home and spit it out for them. <laughs> I like this guy. So, so does you're... That mean that he's going to be eating these fucking bugs right now. And he's uh, going to leave us alone. That's that's a good question. Normally since these guys normally eat eat just treasure um like you you're not sure if or why it would bear hostility towards you, but it definitely seems to at least bear hostility towards the bugs for some reason. Uh since these things are elementals, usually like there's two types of elementals. There's Either those that are that are summoned by wizards, or there's those that live naturally. If this one lives up here, it's kind of a toss-up as to whether it's here for a purpose or whether it's here naturally. Okay. Can we banish? Uh, yeah, you can use banishment on it if you had the spell banish. I don't think we do. But no, we do not. Um, I mean, maybe we should let it eat. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure if this guy's fucking with him. I'm. I. I kind of need to take that bomb off now. <laughs> if uh. Do you uh? I do you remember how alcohol. to take the bomb off? Yeah, alcohol. <laughs> Al alcohol. I don't think lube would work. Well, it's not lube. lube. Oh wait, lube is something else. Yeah. Of. Yeah, you need to use alcohol or universal solvent. <laughs> what is, is he the one that's like causing the itch on the tortoise? Uh, unconfirmed. Okay, because he seems like an okay guy if he's going in and eating all of the problem children. It might be like, uh, what's the right word? Uh, symbiotic? Maybe. Like a symbiotic. Like there are parasites that live on beavers that have evolved to be really big to fight off other parasites yeah. that live on beavers. Yeah, so let's, let's leave it for now and get it to you know, attack the bug. I feel like we should ask uh, Big Turtle Guy if like, well, he knows about the Zorn. You're not in a position <laughs> to ask him right now. Well, you know, not now. Like, when we get the yeah. chance to ask him, it's like, okay. yeah, do you know about this thing? Yeah, no, what if we shout really loud? We just go, Ayo! <laughs> well, you don't have Baba Zlata <laughs> with you to, to translate right now. She's, uh... she's down below. <clears throat> okay. Ayo, turtle boy! Is this guy okay? Did we kill him? <laughs> you don't get any kind of response. <laughs> she. Right. Um. Alright, so I'll keep focusing on these guys. I'll let you guys on the right take care of that. Okay. So. I think I'm gonna go to bed. Okay, have a good night, Sarah. Well, Thank you for coming by. Of course, and tackle it next week. Yeah, sounds good. So, let's ice it. Okay, Ray Frost. Fail. Sleepy time. And then total the dead. Okay, so uh, you have control of Pumpkin now. Yeah, oh, true. Mm. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna find this shit. But yeah, that's. I, I'm doing. Uh, Toll the dead? I'm doing Toll the dead, yeah. Okay. That's uh, the one. Let me roll that d10. Or sorry, d20. Okay, it succeeds. Okay, cool. Fucking, what do I roll again? Um, For Wiz? Toll the Dead is 2D. Uh, Toll the Dead uh, missed. It cool. succeeded on the save. Oh, okay. Fair. I'm good. Yeah. Um, right. And yeah, Wiz Liz still has breath. Yeah, so this thing go. needs to make a deck save. Uh, which it fails, so roll your 3D6. Four damage. Why? It's, uh, it's, now, it's now at 69. Wizard! This is literally one <laughs> one higher than the lowest. <clears throat> Fuck. Alright, um, um... We're gonna start backing it up. Okay. It's, uh, go. it's now the Hulk's turn, so it needs to make a con save against the Moonbeam. Uh, which it fails, so roll me 2d10, Christine. Huh? 2d10? Right. Yeah, for the boon beam. Oh. 
Okay. Um. Oh right. Uh, I'm just gonna move Pumpkin over to your initiative for ease of like sure. everything. So you can you can control Pumpkin now. Yeah, maybe I'll have her move a smidge. <laughs> like that. Huge difference, I know. <laughs> but it makes me feel marginally safer. Okay. Wait, should I move it lower, the moonbeam? Um... No, nah, it's it's fine where it is because that's that's why it took the damages because it was already on it. Basically, you mm. you use the moonbeam to follow it rather than. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Noted. That way you can just hit it every turn. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. So yeah, then then its turn comes. It takes the damage from the moonbeam and then it starts walking down towards you. Makes it over to Olivier and it's going to make attacks against Olivier. Uh, so that's a miss, a miss, and a hit. For seven, seven damage, one and a one. This is the first damage that Olivier took this encounter. Oh, Skippy's crusty. All right, uh, and this Hulk is gonna jump up and come over the cliff and start munching on Iskra. Illegal heresy. Uh, Iskra, what's your AC again? 17. It's less than, yeah, I was gonna say less than 20. Even with, like, the shield, it would have still been less. Yeah. So, Iskra, you take a total of 28 damage as this thing grabs you and bites you. Damn, son. Uh, I can't math right now. This one moves over here. Okay, uh, that's... Yeah, that's it for the Hulks. Um... Wait, it just grabs me like a grapple, or...? No, no, like, it, it hits you with its claws, and then its bite. Okay, um... Yeah, Yax is next. So, Arugi, uh, I'm actually just going to move Yax's initiative to your turn. Alright. Uh, so, we'll go to Logan and Olivier for now. Olivier is going to take Sorry, out his... Can I go on a, on a slight tangent? What's that? Um, so, Sanrio has a character ranking thing happening this year, and basically everyone has to vote for their favorite Sanrio characters. And um, all of them have this weird theme where they're all holding a little magnifying glass and kind of peeking through it and i don't know i don't know why the, that's just the illustration for every character but for gude tama the magnifying glass is on his butt oh <laughs> and it's kind of fucking amazing so i was just sitting here laughing all on mute oh great <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, sorry, I had to interrupt because that was pretty cool and no other character is like this Can you either. link a pic of that? Yeah, I'll take some screenshots. Okay, anyway, Olivier chops at this dude twice and brings it to its knees. It's almost dead. Also, um, Yax is on recovery from haste right now. Oh shit. So she has to skip a turn. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Let's hope that this thing is gonna just walk over and start eating uh, the other bugs that are dead around here. Or like maybe just go down and pick this one up. Well, I kind of want to kill it before it gets to there. <laughs> All right, so it's uh, my turn. Uh, it is Logan right now. Logan comes over here and heals Loishka. for eight. Key. Okay. And then gets her at thirteen. Yeah, next up is this uh, this big guy here. This big guy here just moves back into the mountain. Oh shit! Uh, 
you uh, you suddenly. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> so suddenly it walks into the mountain and there's a little explosion. Uh. Oh no! <laughs> All right, I don't think he's put two and two together. Hopefully. <laughs> Does the imp see anything? <laughs> Uh, the 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 imp feels a uh, feels a rumble and actually needs to make a deck save. <laughs> Keep looking. The imp imp is the boss right here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. The imp the imp All gets right. crushed. Yep. His vaporized. Oh. So, so the imp just tunneled around in darkness for for a minute and and just got squished. What a horrible way to go! <laughs> he had a fun little exploring little <laughs> cave adventure. <laughs> cave explorer. <clears throat> okay, Ards, your your yo-yo exploded. <laughs> oh shit! Okay, yeah. well it's out of out of mind, out of sight. So I'm blasting this guy. Okay. So, uh, blah, blah. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, roll roll the damage and then roll me another d20. Okay, 12. Alright. Alright, it's ground. Sorry. Okay, now it's a Okay, yeah, you're fine. <laughs> Alright, so that, that hit actually brings this guy to his knees. Should, should, I, should I roll the damage for the explosion or? Uh, nah. Okay. <laughs> wow. Our bard is gonna. I, I really, I really like that here. the Gudetama's butt is sweating. <laughs> it's not sweating; it's sparkling. Oh. Uh, oh, oh! It is. I thought those were sweat drops. Now that I zoom in, I see no, that they're sparkles. He's, he's an egg. He doesn't sweat. I thought it would be really funny if the magnifying glass was making him hot. <laughs> I'm cooking the egg. Yeah. Okay, so what was that, uh, what was that, Ards? Uh, I'm going to, uh, Gretsuko? I'm gonna s a sacred flank this dude. Okay, uh, uh, dex save. Alright, it succeeds. Okay, and, uh, that's my turn. I'm okay. <laughs> Alright, the X recovers. Uh, Iskra, go ahead. All right. Yes, Hello Kitty is a part of this. Yeah, it's it's uh, since it's Sanrio, Hello Kitty mm -hmm. is like their original character. Yeah, but what about like? I assume the Agatsuko characters are on there too, right? Maybe I didn't scroll that far because I stopped at Gudetama and I was like, "There's my boy." <laughs> there he is. Hey, um, will I still get disadvantage on shooting this thing point blank? Yes. Boo. You just melee him. No. Uh, that would be an opportunity attack. Let's engage. Okay. I'm just gonna blast this bastard. Okay, he has, he has like two hit points by the way, so... Okay, I'll blast him once with the laser gun at max charge. <laughs> okay. Just cuz. Okay, there you go. Gree. And uh, on the on the other side, you see you see the this guy poke his head out, grab this oh. uh, grab this bug here, and drag him into the mountain, crunching on him. Uh, My son. Okay. Where can well. I get one? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you do have the the research that you got from um, the rubbing, tugging, chugging mud. Right, to like make golems and stuff, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, there's only one of these Umber Hulks left, and I assume that you can all jump on him, and then eventually the the big Zorn will come and crunch him. So just to, just yeah, to expedite sure. this, and get rid of that mm. last uh, that last guy there. Uh, you yeah. Check the top side of the map at all. <laughs> yeah, there was there was just that that one other guy from this little mystery tunnel over here. Okay, wizard comes up there to blast him. Yeah, 
and then and then just everything everything happens to that guy. Many more people fight. Another sidekick falls down and gets back up from a dude. <laughs> <laughs> I still have so many dudes left. Yeah, I, I keep trying to use all my spell slots. But... <laughs> <laughs> Cantrips are just really, really good in this edition. Yep. All right, there you go. Congratulations, you uh, you cleared out the parasitic infestation from the top of the Zartan. Um, yeah. And you learn that the the Zorn kind of acts like an antibody. It's uh, it's around here eating things. It just needed a little help because yeah. the parasitic inf uh, infestation got too big. Yeah, I, I was I was thinking it was something like that. That's why I was like, oh shit. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so we climb back down, I'm guessing? Well, you still need well, to extract the body of the Hyrax. Oh, you're right. Okay, let's go. Alright, so, uh, yeah, similar to the body of the Narwhal that you found before, you find the carcass of a creature that appears to be biomechanical. Why? This, uh, this seems to be the, the body of the Hyrax. It is significantly smaller than the uh, than the narwhal, it's it's maybe like half the size of the narwhal. Okay. Yep. But the creature uh, seems to be uh, seems to be quadrupedal, and uh, one thing that you note is that um, from its from its arms, you can actually see that it has two concealed blades uh, that oh, appear uh. to be on some kind of swivel. What are those? Uh, they appear to be one of these things' weapons, though they appear to be uh, integrated into the structure of the creature itself. Uh, kind of really like, do. kind of like built-in, kind of like built-in melee attacks. Mm. Oh, all right. Yeah, you definitely want to bring this thing back to the lab for study, <laughs> since this is one of the bodies of the weapons of Opetus. All right, it looks like it's stuck on its arm, so we could probably do that with the mule. <laughs> Do what? Yeah. <laughs> give it like no, like you want to bring the entire thing home. Yeah, yeah, but like the eventually. entire skeleton. Oh, once oh, you we, mean you want you want mule blades? <laughs> mule blades. Oh my god, he's gonna become a weapon of Opetus. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! Indeed. Holy fuck, <laughs> dude, that's rad. We weaponize. Arnold, <laughs> erase his fear. I'm gonna give him the belt. I'm gonna put the belt on the mule. <laughs> no. He just wears it like Sorry, a headband. Yeah. Ew. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh God. Right. Wonderful. Okay. Okay, uh, so I'm going to bring you back to the world map. There we go. Back to the world map. Back to back to right in front of the Zaratan. Oh. All right, now oh. the mule fear is nothing. <laughs> okay. So yeah, here here you are back down in front of the Zartan. You you fix his parasitic infestation, and you have Baba Zlata um, translate for you again. Mm -hmm. And he goes, mmm, 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 mmm. That's good. That feels so much better. Yeah. Mm. So, sorry about that explosion if you felt that. <laughs> that what? Okay, I don't think you felt it. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, there were bigger explosions that happened on him than that one. <laughs> like the fireball? Like the fireball. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was like inside of the, the rock at least. <laughs> yep. But it's fine if he doesn't, if he doesn't feel it. That's, that's good. Okay, so yeah, you you cleared out his his parasitic infestation. You're you're now in a position where maybe you could ask him a favor. Hmm. Huh. Hey. 
So, Mr. Zaratan, would, would you be able to help us in return? Hmm, what do little creatures want? Uh, we specifically wanted that one weapon, right? From the gnolls. Well, why are you asking him to get you a weapon? Uh, to save the world well, from devastation. No, I mean, wh why do you think that's something that he can help you with? Getting the oh, weapon from the gnolls. We could ask him if... He doesn't exactly uh, have the powers of subtlety. He can't He can't use his little pinchy fingers to pinch the weapon and give it to you. <laughs> we, we could... Um, th does he know where the gnolls live? Like, their uh, city mm, place? I can feel where they live. Can I, I guess... Can, can you come with us there? Yeah, would you mm, accompany us? I can take you there. Okay. Because we'd have a lot of what's it called? Uh, persuasion? Sword. No, not persuasion. Uh, if we what have him we... with us, uh, yeah. they're more we're likely we're... to do what we say because we're, we're on top of their <laughs> god. <laughs> yeah. All right, so you just ride on his head over to Ieti Urun. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There. There you go. Excellent. So that's that's what happens. <laughs> you you all just you all just get on top of this thing's head, and he walks you over to Ieti Urun over here. <laughs> and then uh, some oh, null negotiations are gonna happen next stream. Oh boy. Trying to figure out, like how we do to avoid all wars. We, we could pretend I mean, to be envoys. Though. I was gonna say you're yeah. literally on. T you're you're you're. Yeah, we can't. You're you're like, sitting. We're no, no. You're sit. Yeah, you're sitting on top of their god. What are they gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> Complain a little bit. Just tell like, them to stop. <laughs> stop. Or we're being like uh, dicks. Uh, yeah. So do you wanna? Here. You don't necessarily need to do the talking. The gnolls have shamans that they talk to this guy using. So you could ask him to say something to them. Um, oh, oh, very good. We could tell him to stop fighting and to give us the weapon. We can tell them to stop, like, the fucking gnoll clans to stop warring with each other and to, to fucking prosper instead oh, shit. of... We, we, and the we should people. have the leader be decided by, uh, games. <laughs> <laughs> by sports or what? By sports, um, yeah, by sports. <laughs> by by sports and games of wit. Sounds good. So that the the next leader can be wise and strong. Oh boy. My ninja way. <laughs> what what kind of games of wit will they play? Mm, rock paper scissors. <laughs> 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 they're gonna they're gonna do the rock paper scissors where after the person wins you need to decide which direction to look <laughs> and then and then if you if you pick the direction that the person's finger is pointing then you need to try and slap the other person and the other person needs to try and dodge it mm -hmm. that's yeah that's a reaction <laughs> reaction or, yeah it yeah, yeah, everything <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. All right, so yeah, we'll 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 do the uh, the null negotiations next uh, next stream. I'll have you guys just hold on. Let me let me set this up real quick. So here's uh, here's Ieti Urun, um, right here. So if you guys chose war, then I would have had you fight this big fucking massive battle with a hundred nulls in the city here. <laughs> <laughs> But instead, what you guys opted to do was the following. Um, let me just put these guys in here real quick. What are you expecting, war? I, I, I wrote this quest with a million different potential endings, so there was nothing that I expected. Fair. I, I know you guys right now to try and avoid conflict as much as possible. <laughs>
That's our ninja way. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you guys you guys literally come in like like this. Can I put I wanna put myself on top? Hold on, <laughs> let me let me let me move it to somewhere where it's not as in the way. There we go. Excellent. <laughs> Rather than rather than fighting in the city, you guys just ride ride the turtle god over. The mules are just trying to follow along. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys are you guys are up there. You can see a you can see a tree on its back there. Yeah, we walk in like sup. <laughs> I mean, they can probably see you coming from miles off, and they're like, "Oh, what is happening? Our god is approaching." <laughs> Oh, hold on. Hold <laughs> He's got on. angry hold eyes. <laughs> okay. He. <laughs> 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 Yay! Like <laughs> <laughs> I love him. <laughs> oh my god, just there such different go. reactions. First sight. Oh god, what is that? I hate him. <laughs> there go. He's my friend. <laughs> Does he give nice hugs? <laughs> he gives three armed hugs. Excellent. Two arms around, one arm underneath. <laughs> oh, extra excellent. Yeah, he goes, he goes, woo! <laughs> he can hug three people at once. I love him. <laughs> Amazing. I mean, listen, as soon as I realized that he wasn't a bad guy and that he was just an elemental, I was like, oh, it's okay, it's fine! <laughs> like, the minute he touched no. down on that big dude, I was like, fuck yeah. <laughs> Hard bar climbing into his fucking mouth like he's a cocktail sausage. <laughs> <laughs> Just picking up uh, the leftovers that are stuck in his. It's like the what's it called? The bird that cleans the alligator's teeth or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's our bud right now. <laughs> Man, these gnolls are probably shitting their pants. No shit. Yeah. We probably got there in like five minutes too. Oh, that doesn't. That I think we went faster than can. That would have been oh. really fucking spooky for the fucking for the dog. <laughs> <laughs> well, this thing moves fast by virtue of it being so huge. But for like, oh god, oh god, it is still a tortoise, so it is still moving rather slowly relative to its size. Yeah. How, how long did it take to get here then? Uh, with a tortoise. <laughs> Many days. <laughs> the, uh... We had a good rest, poor, poor Arden Mule. Yeah, you, you guys, you guys <laughs> just, oh you guys just <laughs> stayed on top and whatnot. <laughs> Alright, wonderful. So yeah, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a hell of a negotiation session. Next, uh, next session. Just, just riding, <laughs> riding into town. Being like, hey, you don't even know who we are yet. <laughs> you, we have, we have had zero contact. We've literally never <laughs> seen a knoll. Aside from those merchants. We've talked to one knoll in all of our lives. <laughs> yep. And they're gonna be like, oh, you're friends with our god. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> So we can need that big gun of yours. Thank you very much. Uh, what? <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. So you should you should come up with something that you actually want the Zaratan to say as a decree. Something like concise. This guy is not verbose. Mm hmm. Stop being butt munch. So you need. Oh. Basically, two sentences, two two phrases. One, what you want. Two, why they should do it. Uh -huh. So, for example, 
Stop all the fighting, it makes me mad. <laughs> makes me mad. So something along those lines. Alright. And, like, phrase it almost like a, like a poignant wisdom. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what we'll, what we'll be taking care of next, uh, next stream. We'll be doing these, these negotiations with the gnolls. Moving on with this part of the quest. You finally got the, while, while uh, the body the back, of the Hyrax. While, while we were on the back, we were, we were planning, it's, uh... Yeah. <laughs> It's a little speech. Yeah, planning on your way over. M Melons, I think you need to leave. That's the wisdom that he's gonna give. <laughs> <laughs> Melons. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. Anyway, yep, we'll uh, we'll take care of that next session. In the meantime, I'm going to say thank you for watching, because it is it is 2 a.m. now. There we go. Thanks for watching, everybody. This has been a good session. You guys cleared out a bunch of parasites. Sidekicks almost died again. <laughs> and, um... Yeah, you guys... You guys wrote a god over. This is the first... This is the first god that you've encountered that you haven't decided to murder. <laughs> Instead, you were like, Let's be friends! Let's be friends yeah, with this boy. one. He's yeah. got a little tiny face. Yeah, I think he's got teeny tiny eyes. <laughs> yep. He's got a big wah. <laughs> he is a big wah. <laughs> he wahs, and you see there's just like a cluster of ard bars in his mouth. <laughs> like you, you look into his mouth and you're like, what the hell was that? Like you squint a bit, you, you, you see when he wahs. And you're like, I swear to god I saw something, and then if you go like frame by frame for one frame, you can see like 3,000 Ardbar faces in there. Uh -huh. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, thank you all for watching, thank you all for playing and whatnot, I'm gonna end the night with a raid, we're gonna go over to KC Live, who is playing Indivisible. Ooh. He's a good nice. It's your likey. So yeah, Wait go say hi to Casey. Throw some, throw some bears down, and I will see you guys tomorrow for Kenshi. And then Monday we're gonna be getting back to Crosscode, and then Thursday we're gonna be doing more Monster Hunter and so on and so forth, and then Saturday we'll be back with the Noel negotiations. Oh boy. <laughs> so yeah, see you guys then. Have a good night, everybody. So long. See ya. Bye bye. Good night. See ya. Bye. Bye 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 b